I am a chassifano. I am a chassifano. We will lose together. We are as we fall together. I am a chassifano. I am a chassifano. We will lose together. We are as we fall together. I am a chassis for no. I am a chassis for no. We will be lost together. We are as we fall together. Together we overcome. Together we can be stopped. Only till I call all We will reach those goals we set together. I am a Chasifano. I am a Chasifano. We will we lose together. We rise, we fall together. Oh. I am a Chasifano. Yes, guys. Yes, people. Welcome back to another live stream. Welcome back to another match preview. Last one before the international break and two weeks of terrible and probably slow and boring international football. But after that, the football's going to be anything but slow for us. If anything, it's going to be very tense. But if we can get one more win on the road before the dreaded runner fixtures coming up, Maybe we could face it with a little bit of cautious optimism. Big up everybody that's in here, though. Big up to Danish Maldini. Big up to Chloe. Big up to Warrior. Big up to Icky. Big up to Bobby, JB, Shevrenda. Big up to everybody locked in. You guys already saw at the start of the stream, but I will say again, if you guys want to get any retro kits or the, re the recent batch of Chelsea 23-24 kits, check out Jerseys FC down in the description below. Don't forget to use the code CarefreeLewisG at discount for 20% off. The giveaway results will be during the Luton v Spurs watch along. 
we got another Super Saturday watch along for you guys tomorrow. So we're going to do Luton v Tottenham. We're obviously going to be doing Burnley v Chelsea. We might do the 5.30 because it's a bit of a dead game. I think it's Palace v Forest. We might do it depending on how the, the Chelsea game goes. If we lose, it'll probably just turn into a review and then I want to fuck off and get some drinks somewhere. So we'll work based on how the results go. But Luton v Spurs is definitely happening. Um, Burnley v Chelsea is definitely happening. I am not going to Burnley. Fuck that. Um, big up to Wapa Mesa. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Big up to Razan. Big up to Steve. Big up my guy Steve. Don't forget to check out his show with Chloe. That should be today or tomorrow. I don't know. You'll promote in the comment section anyway. Um, should do a Q probably. I'll I'll have a day where I need to fill it up with some sort of content. So I'll just slap a QA stream. I'll do that. We're obviously going to have the show with Northside. There'll probably be one watch along or two. Maybe some transfer news. That should be around as well. So we'll get... There'll be stuff to talk about. Just probably won't be that frequently. Big up to Arpando. Big up to Immortal. Big up to Joey. Big up to True Blue. Big up to everybody in here. And yeah, Burnley versus Chelsea. What am I expecting from Burnley? Asks Warrior. I'm expecting them to be a bit direct when they're on the ball. They're probably going to make chances against us. That's about it. Like, we should be winning this game. I know Burnley are just coming off a victory. Their first victory of the season against Luton. But respectfully, it is Luton. Like, we smacked them up 3-0. And we weren't even that great throughout the whole 90s. So it doesn't really mean anything. Their home record hasn't been great. I think they've lost four in a row at home. And there's a stat that only four teams in history have lost their first five home games in a single top flight season. Those teams being Manchester United in 1930-31, Portsmouth in the 9-10 season, they got relegated, Bolton in the 11-12 season, they got relegated, and Newcastle in 18-19, I think they got relegated. I think they did. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Did we play? No, no, they didn't. They didn't. Because we, play, we played them in 1920, uh, the season afterwards, yeah. I keep I can't remember can't forget that um 96th minute winner after a six and a half hour drive up to Newcastle. I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to jump off the upper tier. But yeah. I expect them to lose five in a row. We're going into this game in a confident mood. That this should be very straightforward. The only real question marks are is Mudrick and Kaiseido going to be fit to start? Because Poch hinted that they need final fitness tests before they either start or before they either go onto the bench. Um, what else? Jackson or Brozier? Other than that, I think the lineup speaks for itself. There shouldn't be too many changes in this team. Cucurella stays at fullback. Levi Cole stays at right back. I mean, at left back. The whole back four stays the same, to be honest. Um, Enzo and probably Kai Sado if he's fit. If not, I think Ugo Chokwu comes back into the lineup. Gallagher's going to stay in the 10. Cole Palmer should be in the right. Mudrick, or if he can't play, you're probably going to see Sterling come back into the team at left at left um, wing. And Jackson or Brozier up top. There's not really a lot of question marks in terms of the lineup. It's just more about fitness, if anything. I think Mudrick and Kaiser will be okay, to be honest. Um, what was the Poch quotes on him? Where was it? Yes, both Mudrick and Kaiser are in the squad. Then we decide if they will be available to start. It was close last week with Chucky Mecca. This week he was training well. I still haven't decided. I need to check with Jesus and the medical staff. I think Jesus, he's talking about Jesus Perez, his assistant manager. So they still need to make a decision on both of them, but they're going to be in the squad. So you'll probably see them either come off the bench or start. I would ideally like to see Caicedo still play. Like we've only just seen a little bit of what him and Enzo can do in the pivot together. But again, we can't risk things. If you can't play, put Ugo Chaku in there. It should still be a decent pivot. Ugo Chaku has been good in the minutes that he's played for us. So I'd be fine with that. 
don't necessarily want to see Sterling back in the lineup. I'll be real. But if we have to, take it, take the game by the scruff of the neck. Because as it stands right now, it should be Mudrick, it should be Gallagher, it should be Palmer. And Sterling should be on the bench. If he gets an opportunity, you better make something of that opportunity because you are one of the veterans. We don't have the same patience for you that we did last season. I need results and I need good performances. Because as of right now, I think everybody's fine with him not starting if Mudrick's fit to play. Because he's been getting results. He's had better performances. Well, he's had more promising performances. I still say Sterling was good in the West Ham and Luton game, but like that was about it. Bit of a low bar. Bit of a low bar. Um, Pochettino has said Lavia is still not running, and after the international break, he will not be back. I did see this. This move went from gassed to depressed in, like, record time. All we can do is be patient with him. Like, it's not his fault he's injured. It's just unlucky because we thought this would have been weeks, but it turns out if he isn't even running right now, I doubt we see him until maybe the game before the next international break or maybe even after that. The good thing is we do have other we do have other options, so it doesn't really hurt us too much. He can just focus on recovering and take all the time that he needs. We've got Enzo, we've got Caicedo, we've got Ugo Chuck who can play in the pivot. We've got if we in terms of playing a free man midfield, you can play Gallagher, you can play Palmer, and Cuckoo should be back by January. There is other options. But it's a shame. It's a real shame. Just don't rush him back and just take all the time you need. You don't need to act like he's an injury croc already or anything like that. Just the best thing we can do is just be patient, be supportive. And best of luck, man. <coughs> best of luck. But yeah, Burnley don't really have too many danger, man. James Trafford's a decent goalkeeper. He's one of the heroes of the England under-21 Euro winners in the summer. Sander Burge, decent midfielder. Lyle Foster, since coming back into the Burnley team, has been involved in four of their six goals this season. So I'd say him and Cole Osho are probably the only real players to be concerned about. But in terms of the strength of our defence, we should be able to handle them. The only thing I'll say for Burnley is that they won't go down without a fight. They're not going to give up. They'll keep trying to make chances. They'll keep trying to play their style of play. But we should be able to flex on them. We should be able to do something in this game. If we can't win in this match, then everything else coming up is just long. And that building mood of optimism just comes crashing back down to earth. Um, don't even dare do a watch long for England if that terrible manager is still there. Um, depends. I might do England-Italy. I might do England-Italy. Australia, I, I ain't got time for that. I don't care. Like, I've got to be bored out of my mind with nothing else to do with my day if I set up a watch along for that one. Although I say that, just watch. There probably will be a watch along next Friday. England, Italy, the Tuesday afterwards. Yeah, we'll probably do England, Italy. At least that one's a qualifier, so that there's at least something riding on it. Well, the match day eight of ten, like that, that should already England should basically already be through. Or if they get any result, they basically are. Yeah, England, Italy will run that, but that's about it. That is about it. Gareth Southgate considers playing Cole at left back. Well, he's getting better in that position. Go for it. Hillwell's out. He's not great anyway. Shaw's mid. If he wants to play Cole, we'll go for it. Like, all I care about during the international break is do my players stay fit or not. That's all I care about. I don't even care about how England really does lie. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Just keep our players fit. <coughs> oh, Maldini, I'm with you. I don't care about it either. It's just there might be some decent matches. 
I might, I'll have a look and see what other international fixtures there are. If there's any decent matchups, we might bring back another watch along or two. But I don't think I'm going to do anything more than the England Italy game. Or to be honest, where is the England game? Because I might try to get a ticket for it. Where where is it? Wembley. Yeah, I might I might see if I can find a ticket for that. Don't worry, there will be some streams. I'm gonna try do a couple more one v one streams. So we did one with Northside. That's a weekly show. I'm gonna try and bring one or two during the international break as well. We do have to do the opt the October tier list ranking, so that's gonna be one day too, and we'll figure it out past that. Just depends on where the news drops. Yeah, 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 the tournaments, I hear you. I want England to do well, but I also don't really care if they get knocked out. Not like Chelsea. It's just, it's not the same. It's not the same. Um, Anything else on this game? So what other stats do we have? Chelsea have won their last five games at Turf Moor by an aggregate score of 17 to 3. We should still be adding to that. I remember Burnley used to be a bogey team for us a couple of years back. Back when Ashley Barnes was just rattling every Chelsea fan in existence. They used to come to the bridge and never lose. Now we slap them up. And it should still be the same energy today. Well, tomorrow. Go to Burnley, get the win, get a comprehensive performance and move on. Move on. Last six games, Burnley have... Um, what was what that? They've lost four. They've got one win and one draw. Fucking hell. Chelsea, three wins, one draw, two losses. Doesn't even sound that bad in the grand scheme of things. It's only when you look at the opposition where you're like, shit, we should have done better than that. Iraq versus Qatar watch along next Friday. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure. But this guy thinks I used a running machine. No, no, bruv. No, bruv. No chance. Um, what else do we have? New theme for you to put below. 47 days since we signed Lavia. That's actually a decent one. That's actually a decent one. That one's at the end of the year. Tier list ranking at the end of the year. So we're going to do that in December. Um, was there any other Poch comments? Reese James is training with the group. It's a shame he's banned for tomorrow. We are really happy in the way that he is recovering. Um, he's doing well. Hopefully he can be available after the international break. So it sounds like he might have been ready to be in the squad for the game, but hey, regardless, I still wouldn't have rushed him. I know some people say maybe it would have been better to bring him on to get some sharpness, but the guy's got a two-week international break straight afterwards. It is pointless. It's pointless. Um, on Chilwell, it's to judge day by day. We cannot say the period that Chilwell will be out. Take your time. Jackson and Brozier. This one's an interesting one. So what did he say on this? We already took the decision regarding which striker will start. And they already know the outcome. We will see tomorrow. Brozier has amazing potential. It's about how he recovers from his big injury. He's a very talented player. We trust him. That's why he played against Fulham. And now he needs time to heal. To feel complete. I feel like he's already hinted that it's going to be Jackson again, and it makes more sense. Like, Brogio was good to see him score, but he still looked a bit rusty in his gameplay. And I feel like Jackson would offer me more on the ball than what Brogio would do. Keep bringing him off the bench. Keep letting him add, build his sharpness over the next week or two or three. And, yeah, just next start for him should be Blackburn in the cup. I Danish Maldini, leave me alone, bro. Fuck you know. Big up my guy though. Uh what else? VAR, what else? What did he say on this? I trust the car, but the drive but it's the driver that's the problem. It's a good analogy. It's good this technology to use if the ball crosses the line. Offsides also, but maybe we can argue and discuss if the referee needs to have the last say. It's complicated. I hate this VAR discussion because Liverpool just blown it completely out of proportion. But it's a good analogy. The technology isn't the problem. It's the people using it and rushing it. And they dug their own grave of it. Hopefully, they slow down now. I don't think there's going to be any big changes until next season. I hope, I hope there's enough pressure now. 
that they actually bring in the semi-automated offside technology. But until then, at least just don't rush the decisions. I don't care if I'm standing in the ground for five minutes. At least get to the right decision at the end of it. If we're, if we're stopping the game for the wrong decision and it impacts the performance, I mean the result, then what's even the fucking point of it? What's the point? Was there any other quotes? No, that's about it. That's about it. Right, link is going out. We'll see you around. I know it's been a bit of a late stream, but I just had shit to do. I won't even lie to you guys. I had shit to do. But link is going out. We'll see what everyone's saying. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm sure we haven't hit 200 likes. So, yeah, hit the like button. Right, yeah, that should be everybody. Cool, yeah, that's everybody. Right, while we're waiting, score predictions. What's everybody saying? Because I've heard a bunch of two and three nils. How are we feeling? Who's going to be the first goal scorer? That's what I want to know. Noah rolls through, we'll probably just wrap it up early and I'm going to go banner zoo. But let me know what everybody's saying. Uh, Chloe says 1-1. One, one. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. 2-1 uh, Chelsea, 2-1 Chelsea. Okay, so you guys think we might concede. Okay, fair enough. 3-0 Jackson to score first. 1-1, one, 2-0 one, Chelsea. I'm surprised. There's more draws than I thought. Um, Mudrick to score, Cole Palmer to score, Mudrick, Jackson and Cole. Okay, we're getting a couple more 3 nils. Starting to feel a bit more optimistic. Big up to Gbenga in the comments. I keep pronouncing your name wrong. But big up, my Everybody check out his tunes in the description below. Link is down there right... Wait, wait what's it next to? Is it by the quotes? It's under Jesters. So check out his channel. Uh, big up, Steve. What are you saying, my guy? You all good? Dude, what's good, man? I'm, I'm, I'm all right, bro. What about you? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, I'm optimistic for the first time in ages. I feel good. That's fair, yo. That's fair. Cause uh, I was looking at the on Google. If you go on the Premier League, here, let me share it with you. They give you like five match facts, and I was looking at the ones with you and Burnley. So oh, like, you, got a, you got a hell of a lot of good um, thingies. You got a lot of stats in your favor. Like Burnley, I've only won. They've won one out of 16 matches against you guys, which is – I remember that. That was the first game of the season, right? That, that was the free After two you won the the title. Won the, Yeah. I remember that game. That was that was wild. That's still that one wild. of the angriest moments I've ever had coming out of a game in my life. Is that because Is that because you expected so much more? Of the team, I'm assuming. Yep. I just looked at our team and compared it to last season. I'm like, yo, we're, we're not we're not making top four. It's like from match day one, we're not making it. When we don't get better transfers. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, and then the second one, Chelsea <laughs> won seven of their eight away 
visits in the Premier League. To yes, yes, one. yes. You have a yes, draw on the other. No team has played more away yeah, games. Yeah, the draw was 16-17. It's the first time I went to Turf Moor. It was snowing. That's crazy. My Premier Achilles froze my full time and I had to waddle out of the ground like a penguin. Wow. <laughs> Burnley are without a here's a crazy one. Burnley without a clean sheet in 16 Premier League games against Chelsea, with only West Brom, Arsenal, and Wolves versus Arsenal facing an opponent more without ever recording a shutout. The, the Clarets' last top flight clean sheet against you guys was a one 0 win in 1973. Jesus. Burnley have lost all four of their Premier League home games this season, albeit that's four pretty tough ones to be fair. Outside of like. <laughs> Uh, only four teams in the top five history have ever lost their first five, uh, a home soil in a single campaign. Man United in 30 31, Portsmouth in 2009 10, Bolton Wanderers in 11 12, and Newcastle 18 19. And Everton could also, and then Chelsea are looking to win consecutive EPL matches for the first half since March, while they won back to back away league games in October. So you got like four out of the five stats are like in your favor, or like the What's it called? The uh, head-to-head kind of thing. So you should be optimistic, to be honest. Nope. Joe, you know what? They might have more possession than you. Because I, nah, I was telling no, people. No, 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 no. They could. They could, bro. Bro, I was telling Yeah, people, with the way we handle games, too, we like, we like to try and kill it off early and then drop back a little bit more. So I yeah. could see that. Like, I was telling people, when they played us last week, I was like, this isn't going to be as easy as pe- people were saying five, six, four. And I was like, Burnley are going to come to St. James Park and actually try to play football. Because a lot of teams don't. Like, I remember back end of last year, Leicester, we had like 70-something percent possession against them. Um, so that's that's been a regular thing. So I wouldn't be surprised if Burnley maybe nick it on possession or keep it real close. So that's the only thing you should probably look out for. Uh, they, they, they. For me, they've struggled to be clinical. To be honest, yeah, I was um, they played it's a lot of good it. football though. I think it was, it was United at home. They could have went up before United even scored. Like they had a good, like three clear cut chances as well. Kaleisho, Luka Kaleisho for me is is the standout. I like him a lot. He's, he's like nineteen. Yeah, Kaleisho, uh, the um. Italian American. <laughs> yeah. I like him a lot. I think he, he he's he's done real well in the few games I watched Burnley. So yeah, he's rapid. Yep, and he's he's rapid with the ball dribbling so as well, is, which is, which is, is to, to be that fast and to keep the ball at your feet is well, it's not easy. Yeah. So no, I think I think you'll win, but I think Burnley will definitely test you guys. I think they'll test you guys for sure. But for me, I'm. Ben, so you moving your mic a little bit because it's coming in and out a bit too much. Pause. Yeah. yeah. Oh, pause. I just do that. But yeah. Well, you're gonna make things sexual, there, Lewis. If if I don't say it, the chat's gonna say. I, I need to get there before they do, isn't it? Dirty man. These these youths today. Oh, no. The youths. Oh yeah, it's only gonna get the worse. Youths. It's only gonna get worse. <laughs> for me. How you feeling anyway, bro? How you feeling for the game tomorrow? Me, uh, I think we should we should win and it should be quite comfortable. Yeah. For me, it's more about the performance. I mean, if you look at our run of games, of course we want the the points on the board, but we just want to build confidence and momentum because we've got Arsenal at home as soon as we come back. If the performance is not up to standard, you see what Burnley been up. I'm gonna be asking questions because it's Burnley. We respect to Burnley, of course, but we should be going there. And showing that we're the better team by a, by a mile. I was trying to north side about, about Arsenal. I can't the more I think about the way they're playing, the way we're playing, they might play into our hands a little bit. Yeah, this right a here. I'm not scared for Arsenal anyway, because the problem if we Arsenal like to drop deep and play pragmatic and they can't make a lot of chances, which they haven't really been doing the last few games, catch them on transition. That there, there is something that could happen. Obviously, we need to bury our chances. I do get that. Yeah. That's just hope this time we don't have a giraffe that's ruining our chance creation. Like last time we're at the bridge. He's going to be on the other side. We thank God. <laughs> no, he basically was playing for them every time we played Arsenal. So, does, so does anybody think that uh, Arteta is going to play soccer this weekend? And yes, 100%. Like, yep. Yep. He's going to do his, his handy. Because if, once you have a weakness 100%. in the thigh... 
that hand is going to go. Just telling you, that's what's going to happen. If he if he pushes it, he's going to lose a hammy. Or something worse. Or some worse. God forbid. I don't want nobody to get injured. That 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 you know that sucks. I mean, if it helps against us, I'm against Bro, us. The, the, the problem is, is that with Saka, there's been so many warning signs this year for Arsenal where he's like limped and like limped heavy, and it's like Arteta, bring him off. Remember, and also remember the opening day against Nottingham Forest, Timber in the first half, he did not look good. Hey, he, not look good. he didn't bring him off. The second half and got, got, and got taken off in the first 10 minutes. Yep. So it's like, bro, you got to take care of your players. Like he, Arteta's too focused on the short game, I think. Whereas Pep, I mean, there's so many differences between the two, obviously. But like the, a big one is that Pep plays the long game. Like he had Bernardo Silva and Stones on the bench, I think, when they played Leipzig midweek. He didn't bring them on, to to from, from what I can remember. He, he, he could. They needed a solution because Leipzig held them to 1-1 one, one for a, a decent amount of time. But he didn't bring them on. He had them on the bench. But that's that, for me, that's the difference. Yeah, I feel like we see that a lot with Vartel. I think he's still under the thing that if he still believes Arsenal are not in Europe. I mean, to compete, you need to have a big squad. As soon as Timber... When injured, he should have been okay. Yeah, we st- we still need to reinforce. We need zero signings. Well, he, he he didn't loan out Tierney, which who is your only <laughs> real left back because Zinchenko is a, a midfielder playing left back. He's basically a hologram. Gabriel now has to cover two positions, and that's why we're seeing so many mistakes in his game because he has to play centre back, but then he's also having to cover for the left back. Yeah, it's yeah, you know, it's it's one of those things. It, it's gonna it it might catch people off for a year, right? Um, it's just like anything else. Any I don't know if you anybody watches Amer- American football, but yeah. when somebody comes out with a new formation, it works for a year, maybe two, and then defenses catch up. That's what happens. You can you can have all these tricks, but the the, the best way to win a football game is to put players in their best position. And coach the hell out of them. Yeah. Okay. If you've got to have a trick to win, your team's not that good in the first place. Yeah. That people are hundred percent gestures, bro. Like, yeah. uh, actually, you know what would be in, in, in American football? You could you could say formations in European world football is like schemes or play calling in NFL football. It could work for a year, but you have to evolve a little bit. Unless you unless unless you have a Mahomes like he is the guy and you could just let him do his thing. But well I'm thinking, you know, of Pep. Pep's what playing almost four four two. Yeah, four four two is what the you know the the original formation that everybody basically played, and he it again if you put really good players in positions to succeed and coach them up, uh, amazing they play well the team looks good. Yeah, you don't have to say oh, I'm going to invert this left back because I really want to overload the midfield. If you got to do that, then your midfield's weak. Right? Yep. It just is. No? No. no. Okay. 100%. No, so what, are you, what are you saying, bro? I, I just disagree with that because City showed that last season. So I'd say they've, probably, they've, got, they've got inarguably the strongest midfield in the league and yet they still inverted stones in the midfield and it just added. True. So. True, but, but, but that's but Pep he realized that, okay, there's a role. I need a guy next to Rodri to do X, Y, and Z. Can Stones do that? Can he do X, Y, and Z? Yeah, he can. So let's put him there. So, yeah. and, and, and again, Pep, that's fine. And also Aaron has it correct. You invert a fullback so you can then put more people into the final third. Yeah. So you have more attacking players who are going to score the goals and are going to do the bits that you need them to do in the attacking third. So you don't have to rely on having a midfield where, you know, you've got one DM and one potential box to box where it may be that they don't f- like they're not going to add as much in the final third as say a silver will, who's not box to box, box, 
but because you have someone who can invert into midfield, they take away all the need to defend for whoever that attacking player is in the midfield. So all they need to focus on is attacking. Okay, so you again, you just made my point. You, your gimmick to get more attacking players is still a gimmick. Cool, and Pep, Pep's managed to find some quite big success with that for wait, two, wait, three years. Yeah, so, define, one year. wait, gestures, define gimmick. I guess. Well, again, you just said, well, we're we're gonna oh, we're gonna invert the fullback to to allow more people to go forward. Yeah. Okay. It's because your attack is not good enough, do you need more another person in attack? Because no, it's because you over it's about overloads. That's all, all it's about. It's oh, overloads. Again, a gimmick. Because you well, can't be so you, you just said you said earlier if you need gimmicks to use work. a gimmick. Gimmicks. If you you said earlier if you need to use a Don't gimmick, me. you you ain't got the facilities for that big man. Oh, I've got the facilities. If you're going to try no, to shoot it, then I'll call no, you out on it. You said if you have to use a gimmick, it means your team's not good enough. I just showed you an example where the, the gimmick is used in the best team in the world. You fucking idiots. A gimmick is a trick or device intended to attract. It's not a good time what? to interfere in this. In this piece, man. Keep running your fucking mouth, buddy. Shut your fucking mouth, bitch. Okay. Uh, yeah, you you you, you, you got the me. internet cojones. Yeah, in real life, I bet you you're a little bitch. I, I keep the shit out of you. Don't fucking chat me, you cunt. <laughs> I guarantee you, he's a bitch. Just as I bet you a billion dollars on that shit. That's a bitch. Yeah. Ain't nobody even said nothing to you. And gimmicks don't mean actually just, fail all the time. Just, gimmicks can work. Gimmicks but, mean you're but they're gonna figure that shit out. I don't know about a, I don't know about a gimmick though. What's it, all right, gestures for you, for me? What's the, for you? What's the difference between a gimmick and a philosophy? <clears throat> a gimmick again. It's it's about. The words you use, if you're upset about the word I use, I'm no, no, it's out. not upset. No, 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 no. It's, it's just again, it's, 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 he, he fight, did fight, that fight, because fight. He, he did that because he had an issue, right? Okay. He didn't do it just to say, hmm, let's just screw with the team and how we want to play. He did that because he had an issue to fix because and he needed to get results with the personnel that he had. Really. There you go. It's not something that he would normally do if he had the players that he wanted in the positions that he wanted. He would play a diff he would play a different way. But because he lacked those players, he had to improvise the team and the way they play. It's not something that another manager should look at and go, well, he was successful at it. I should do it too. What about the difference between a gimmick and a solution to a problem? A solution. Yeah, but it's again. It's, it's, it's about word choice. I'm saying gimmick because we're here having a debate. If I say gimmick, you have a debate. If I say, well, it's just a solution to a problem. Nobody says shit and we move on. And then the, the, what are we doing here? Right. No, I'm just trying. No, no, no it's not. It's, it's, it's not that I have a problem with what you're saying. It's, I'm just trying to understand you. That's all. That's all. It's, it's yeah. Not, and then it's not something that you're going to see Pep, do, is Pep doing it this year. What's really? the gimmick? No, no, but he's not doing it. It, it was this a, year. It was a gimme. <laughs> <laughs> he's not doing it because he doesn't need to do it, or he doesn't. Again, he has a different issue, and so he it's set the a different definition line of a gimmick. I think. I think the problem is is when you say, no, he said the you, you do it because the midfield so. is weak, and I understand what Scott is coming from. Man City doesn't have a weak midfield, but it was a gimmick. To get them through the crisis they was going through. If he had all his players, he wouldn't do that shit. Nobody wants to do that. Who the fuck? If you got the proper left back and the proper right back, who? you ain't gonna be bothered with no inverted and outverted and no type of vert. You got time for that shit? Yeah, and I was speaking about uh, Arsenal's midfield, not City's. Oh, so <laughs> Two I don't even Arsenal's know. midfield needs the help. City's doesn't, but they did it for a different reason. Still doesn't mean that. And not a gimmick. He like, is this so, so? Like, like, is it a gimmick that okay? I pull, I pulled up the Man City Wolves. They had they went four two three one, and then when they played Leipzig, they played three two four one. Is that a gimmick? Do you think? Like, would you say it's that not, is? the gimmick part is the inverting of the, the the left back and the, the left back going to midfield? That's the gimmick part. It's not the so formation itself. It's, it's what they're you, actually doing. Yeah, if you, if if. You, because when, again, 
this formation right here, if it's set up this way and they come out in this formation, he's just yeah. playing a different formation. But if you, it's it's like when we, when we the first few games, everybody start, thought we were playing a back three and Posh comes out. No, it's a back four. Ah. It's just Chilwell was playing left wing. Again, gimmick. Gimmick. <laughs> Gimmick this, gimmick that's the word. That's the word. That's the word. The word does fit. It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. Yeah, gimmick. Okay. But I, yeah, yeah. but, but I don't know if it's necessarily mean him. What it, what it says about your midfield, but it's just, it is a gimmick. Mm. Yeah, and I, I specifically said about your midfield, about Arsenal's midfield. That, that was my statement. Oh, that Arsenal thing. Yeah, because it's, Arsenal's midfield to me is a unbalanced and weak. Yeah, right. Not definitely, definitely and, like <laughs> fucking Odegaard, Havertz, and Jorginho midfield. Long smashed them. Yeah, absolutely smashed them. They don't, look, they don't look as cohesive as they did last season. Yeah, uh, bro. I t- I try telling people that Lons are a better side than their league positioning right now, early in the season, suggested because I actually fucking watched them, and people are like, "Yeah, no, Jimmy was win. literally saying yeah. it before the start of like, the stream." I said it before the start of the stream, but I'm yeah. American, so that shit don't matter. Yeah, because yeah, because guess what? Me and Jimmy did. We watched Lons uh, Strasbourg. So like. The, the, the. Speaking of Strasbourg, big up to Angelo Gabriel. He's the Premier League. He won Young Player of the Month, the league one. Player of the Month. Yes. The most player of the month for Strasbourg. Which is not easy to do because think of all the young talent you got in league on regularly. So, like, that is, yeah, it was unbelievable. Nah, I'm a, I, he, he, Vieira initially in the beginning of the season, it was like a 5 3 2 kind of thing. He switched it up for Angelo, to be honest. He switched it up because he's like, I gotta get Angelo Gabriel on the pitch. So, yeah, no, he's uh, if he's yeah, doing this in September, I'm very interested to see where he's at come April, May. Yeah, no, absolutely. We got Nant. We got Nant today, so that'll that'll be a that'll be good. Nant are in decent form. So, oh, you did? Oh, is it on? Let me check some BT. I might. Yeah, I gotta lost. watch him tonight. Oh, that'll be a good test for sure, then. Yeah. Right. Cool. What is this? I've got a stream at seven, but I might try roll through. Where? What is this? Yeah, the game started. Yeah, everyone, check out Steve's channel as well. Link is down in the description below, as well as yep. Jimmy's and all of the panels' channels as well. So check it out, people. Yeah, I, I, got, I got a couple of other things. Um, how long do you think uh, Madueke has left in his Chelsea career? I don't what? even. Before what? I don't. I don't even think it's a question of whether he stays or goes. All right now. We don't know. He might even play tomorrow. Like, well, I'm not saying. I'm, say, I'm not saying in the short term. I'm saying in the long term. Long I'm looking term. at the all the right wingers slash cams that have <laughs> left foots. Well, we got my Yeah, we get in, in the pipeline, and you're going. Hmm. Hmm. That's true. We, we got my here, like and then Angelo might be coming back next season. So. Yeah, you got right. Angelo Gabriel, you got uh, Mor- Diego Morero, you got Kendry Pires, hey, all in the pipeline. And you've got uh, Palmer on top uh, of that. Uh, no. Diego Moreno might be might be oh, not, true, not yeah. No, he might not. I, I didn't say he I'm just saying all the all these same profile player and Poch doesn't seem to really doesn't seem to get on with, with Medueke. He was at Tottenham and that was one of the reasons he's not at Tottenham. Medueke. Yeah, he got rid of him apparently. I don't know. They they seem like they've patched everything up pretty easily, like I, not my I don't know. It's, it's it's a bit too early to tell. Next season, we'd ideally be back in Europe, which means there'd be more game time to spread around between players. So you'd be looking at um, Madweki, potentially Angelo, potentially Palmer, potentially Sterling. Yes, someone yeah. might have to give him that one. As yeah, it stands right can't... now, could be and Sterling for all I care. I, well, I would prefer Sterling, but who's easier to get rid of? Madweke or Sterling? Um, Probably Madweke. Madweke. Project, I mean, Madweke no, no, no. How many years is Madweke on, though? Any on like, the seven, seven years? like a seven or eight year contract on like low wages. So it would be Sterling. It would be Sterling. No, no, it would not. No, it's it's wage. Wage. You don't know. You, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you have no idea who would be easier to get rid of. You don't know. Well, yeah, it's too early. Like, you don't really. know. It's too early. You, no, not yeah, even by numbers. Numbers don't mean shit until it's. 
relevant to the situation. So just throwing okay. the numbers with just you can do that with anything, but you don't know the it's situation. It's a speculative you know? question in general, to be fair. Yeah, like you don't know who's going to be looking for what next year. We're talking about a whole almost year from now. So it's, what? It's like, we're not talking we might lose one in January. Nah, hell. Well, who? So. Matawake, Matawake ain't going nowhere in January. So. No, I, I was hoping Sterling. Nah, I, I, had, I, doubt I had enough of him. I mean, I'm with you I on that. Really. This, <laughs> this fantasy of people thinking Sterling going to go, you can get that out your head. Sterling ain't going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. Well, I can Y'all want him to go, though. I know, but you said who's more likely, and I'm telling you, it ain't Sterling. Sterling ain't going nowhere. I think I alone is like definitely. Him. I think alone is definitely a possibility for Matawake in January. I can it's, see it's that. Not, it's not, it's not, not, not even alone. Nah, time, not Matawake, Matawake if he's not playing a lot of game time, though, I could see Sterling potentially want to leave. Because that's the whole reason why I left City. It was, it was about game time. That was a factor. I get moving to London and being closer to his family was another factor at two, but game time was part of it too. So if he's not getting a lot of game time, he could potentially be the one to push. Well, I, I'm just thinking maybe Arsenal might need a, 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 another attacker in January. And you know you know how Arsenal much Arsenal likes right former right Man City right. players. Just Arsenal's not buying hey, right I mean, hey, hey. another one for the Arsenal retirement home. I, I hear it. I hear what, it. what, 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 the, uh, Jester, so you're saying Sterling might or Matawake? Oh, in January, I would Arsenal. prefer Sterling. A little Arteta Sterling link up. I, I look, I, I would prefer reason. Sterling goes because I, 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 he's, he's outside the plan of, of the team in general, right? He doesn't fit. I don't he, care about the plan. Fit. I want him to go. Oh. Come. Well, I, I'm trying to be nice, Jimmy. I, I mean, you know, I, I come on here and I'm being nice and I got called a motherfucker and stupid and all that other stuff. And it's like, okay, I'm still trying to be nice. I just, I'm not going to say he's crap, but I, I don't think he fits the profile of player age-wise that we're looking to build a team around. We're going for that youth. Everybody comes together at the same time and win a bunch of stuff. He just doesn't fit that. And he's not performing. So... You can't have two things. If you were different, if you didn't fit the age profile and you were playing and killing it, nobody would say anything. But you can't have a couple of good games and disappear for the rest of the season. Yeah. You can't have yeah, especially one of the we're gonna call it, Yeah, we're gonna call it the Havertz. You can't have her the season. Mm-hmm. He's a twenty eight year old he plays like he's fifty. So that I, you know, I just think that that's probably the best thing for everybody. Hello, Tata to reload it. You'll 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 think of the pet days again and be like, "Cool, I hear it." He's way older. He's gonna get rid of for sure. Uh, On the wages too, of course. Sterling's got a contract till twenty twenty seven. It says. Yeah. And why did people get Sterling? He was so ass towards the latter years of Pep's, you know, reign, you know, with him. So he annoying. wasn't. Ready, I don't even think, no, he I don't was even, not ass, bro. Stop having revisionist history. The last two years, the last two years of Pep, he was. Bro, you said ass. Like when y'all say y'all, y'all would say stuff like, "Oh, such and such is ass." Then you look at his GNA, and it's better than everybody on our team. Like, what are we talking about? Maybe because like, City bro, create more chances. Bro, <laughs> that's why. Bro, like that's still the, worse not, than before. Not everybody. So yo, yo, so 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 nobody on City is good. Nobody. No, I never you wouldn't take no city player then. Then what the fuck? Then Stop. every time somebody come off the of city, y'all talk about how city is good. Oh no, it's Pep. Then that with that case, then I mean you would you wouldn't take no play on city then, right? No, None. I would. But I'm saying specifically Sterling. All right then. Well, then stop saying it's about stop stop. Like, this I guess is Sterling. I mean, this is Sterling. Sterling his last. Uh, his yeah, if you say the last two years, you could argue the performances might have dropped, but he, since he did still he's regularly DNA, get goals. He's still this. DNA, but the like every title win for City, he was their second highest goal scorer. I think every single one. No, I don't know if that's in all competitions or the league, but like he was still a good goal scorer for them. And also, yeah, that was argue the performances. How about this? Let me rephrase. We don't create enough chances like City, and so he's gonna struggle more because you know yeah, he needs more chances to score. What, hold on. Some people yeah. would know this because he knows numbers. What is, what is our ranking for chances, big chances created this year in the Premier League? I, I believe it's second. It is up there. 
It is up there. I, think I want to say it's top three at least, something like that. Yeah, it's top three, but I'm just saying. Yeah, but you got it. Here's the thing with stats. What, Beagles? Here's the thing with Last year, he was not good at all. At all. Here, and we, we, don't, we didn't get that many chances last year. Here's the thing with stats. Though, like, I like good. stats, but I like it as an appetizer to my main dish, right? And you also yeah. got to know what is that appetizer, so the context, right? So, like, okay, you guys have your, your, your second and big chances created, but it's like, who is creating those chances? What's the quality of those chances? Who's the opponent? Who are the defenders? We're also top second for big chances missed. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So it, we, we are creating the chances. People just can't finish the, their dinner, as they say. Right. right. And that's everybody's problem on the team, just not one player. But I don't like the narrative now that we don't create <laughs> chances. Even last year, we actually created a lot of chances that we just didn't finish. I mean, how many games were we sitting there going, Oh, we should have finished that, and that went over there, and then we get bombed one nil. I mean, that's happened to us how many times this year? Blame Kai Havers for that, yeah. So, yeah. I, I think that narrative to me, yes, we could play better, and the build up could be faster in some aspects. We're aspect. six for big chances created in the league. Six. Yeah, I, was I don't like this idea that we create a lot of chances. I watch us play. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who make these stats and. What a big chance. I don't even know what the fuck these stats. I don't even know. Because they try to bring this up for us for games like Nottingham Forest. So I'm like, don't yeah. talk to me about so I watched that game. We didn't create shit. Exactly. I watched the fucking games two and three times. I, I know we don't create no bunch of chances. I watch other teams. I, teams that watch that create a lot of chances. I know what the fuck create a lot of chances look like. Arsenal, Man City, them motherfuckers create a lot of chances. A lot of shots. Go on, goal. <laughs> I don't know where all these created yeah. chances they're talking about with Chelsea. Maybe I need to watch every game again. No, no. Like, if, if, I always say whenever someone just comes with an argument with only stats and nothing else, and just, just haven't watched the game. Exactly. That's just it. Because like, yeah, you can use stats to build on a point, but there has to be a point at the end of it. If you just it, say this, this, and this meant you made a lot of chances. No. Watch the game and tell me what chances. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. It, 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 should, it shouldn't Supreme, be. That's it. We'll make chances, but they're not good quality. So we'll look at them and be like, "Well, that wasn't serious." Well, I, I, that, go a block I, guess, shot on. I, I, I guess it's not good quality for the the finishers we have on our team. Corners. I could be good quality for finishers on other teams because I see I saw Holland last year score a bunch of goals from not really great chances, but he put them in the back of the net. So. That stuff evens out through the year. All I'm saying is we right. do create chances, especially this year. It's been the finishing that's let us down. The final here's, third. But here's one thing that's crazy, though. Some games. We'll the say the Villa game for sure. Look at the shots. So you guys are creating chances, but your shots are low. So that's one thing to also look at. Like, if you're creating a lot of chances, but then the shots are lower compared to. Steve, that's why I tell you these stats are bullshit. We don't even take shots on goal. Just go. What's the we, it's one of, the, it's one of our biggest complaints. Shots on target. It's one of our Here biggest complaints. No Chelsea. It's one of our biggest complaints. Chelsea. But that's, are not, but that's, not, that's, that's not that, that it has nothing to do with the pass. It has to do with, again, what we're saying you can't finish. You can't hit water from a boat. That has nothing to do with the, with, with the setup necessarily. Yeah. That, that well, necessarily well, has to do with the setup. We we need more fucking shots. We need more shots. If we if we shoot a lot, we need to shoot a lot more. Fuck that. Oh, yeah, That's all I'm. Well, we don't shoot enough. We don't create create enough chances. I don't care how many create. If we fix, we need to be first. How about that? What's the number one? What's what's That's one in what's one in team play that I should check out? Which what which one do you want me to choose? Someone, anyone. Through balls. Through balls, right. yeah. Through balls. All right. Let's see where Chelsea are at that. Because that's important with chance creation, right? City, cool. Liverpool, Chelsea are up there in through balls. Number four. Through ball can mean anything. It has to be like a quality one. It's going to lead to a fucking goal. So, I don't know. But What are we like, in back passes? Uh, all we're saying there is that we're doing it. It doesn't show you. Like yeah, I bet we're first in back passes. Oh, yeah, no, it's City are. Oh, yeah, okay. man, see, by a bunch, by a huge amount. <laughs> also in fourth. Nice. Burnley in fourth. Tottenham fifth. Chelsea sixth. 
Man United, where the hell are Newcastle on? Wow. God damn. Damn, we're 12. <clears throat> that makes sense for Newcastle, you? though. Yeah. <laughs> you're playing, but maybe, you're, yeah, more. you're playing on the, you don't play with possession. Yeah, because we, we, we squeeze, we press up the pitch, win yeah. the ball, shoot. Four. Yeah, that makes, that makes sense. Oh, congratulations, by the way, Steve, on Newcastle with PSG. Yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful win. That's it, was, a win. it was an oh, amazing was, win. First, I was, I, was, I, was, I was literally so in the mood for Dan Byrne as well. Yeah. Oh, man. Bro, it was feeling he must have got to score, like, in a Champions League for Newcastle. He, he must have been, like, you know, mind-blown. It was, it was great. Oh, I would laugh. I would love it if, if PSG never won another game. Pretty corrupt <laughs> bastards. Long balls, you guys yeah. are dead last. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy because, like, I feel like – what was the game where you guys in the last, like, 30 minutes – and I know it's only 30 minutes out of however many hundred – but like I feel like in a few games you guys some of the, maybe long balls oh long balls and crosses are different that's what it is yeah, yeah. that's the way it is that's long balls I, I you know long balls are of, probably from behind that halfway line yeah most likely it travels uh, certain distance crosses you got oh there you go there you go Chelsea are third in crosses all right hey, let's go uh, but Town. again it's most of those that's are not being even put on target. <laughs> you got, you got, got, look at look at Liverpool, look at Arsenal, look at Man City. Look how many attackers they have attacking. We have a flat back four with fucking Levi Caldwell, our left back, who's not allowed to go forward. And y'all talking about we create chances? Man, get the fuck out of here. We don't even attack, bro. We don't but even when attack. Levi, when Levi did go forward, he did get the goal for Madrid. Right? Yeah, oh my God. He went forward one time out of 90 fucking games and all these men. Who gives a fuck, man? No, no, I'm just saying. Attack. No, no, no. No, no I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. saying. No, I know. I know. You're not defending. I'm saying. I'm doing more piling on. That, that's no, saying that. No, it was just adding to your comment that he wasn't allowed to go I know forward. that. I, under, I understand that. And I'm just piling on saying. more on Poch. That show that Poch system is shit. So miss me with all this. We create chances shit. We don't even have the same amount of tactics as everybody else. Everybody sends that attackers. We send. We had we had games where we literally had two fucking attackers, and y'all talking about we create chances. We had games where we had Jackson and Sterling and nobody else with Chilwell, and y'all talking about we create chances. We don't get enough stats. We're coming to this game on the back of two wins. How are this man still complaining about our tactics? Hey, hey, Lewis, you going to the game tomorrow? Nope. Uh, I'm about to say, we need to get some love for Kukurea. He's. Oh, no, like, the only been any... starting from the last few games, thankfully. I don't hear any booing. Nah, they, have, they haven't booed him. Thank, thank nah, they haven't booed him. I don't hear none of that. And if the other team's booing him, I, I, you need to jump on their shit. Come on now. Still a Chelsea <laughs> player. <laughs> No, they, never, they, I, they were booing him at the Wimbledon match when his name got read out. But the last two games, he's got a better reception. Oh, imagine that. Fairweather fans. You, 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 we can't support you Proper unless Chelsea. you're doing exactly, you're gonna exactly play what Wimbledon. we're doing. Yeah. We're still, yeah. still out. Proper Chelsea. Unless it's, it's the likes of Chilwell or Gallagher, then we'll just back them regardless. No, I wonder no, why. Let's not, let's not open exactly. that door today. I wonder <laughs> no, why. Here's another <laughs> Yo, get the fuck up, man, with that fuck. It sounds like R2-D2 snorting coke. Like. He got chipmunks <laughs> in the phone. Sounds like R2-D2, bro. Yeah, it, sounds, it sounds like a bunch of what insects. I'm like, what about those insects? R.I.P. headphone users. <laughs> Is this worrying for you guys? This possessed Palace, Wolves, Fulham, Arsenal, Bournemouth, Chelsea? That's another No. <laughs> no. no. That's, that's not worrying. No. It, depending on where it happens, if it's happening yeah, right. in the opponent's half in the final third, not worried about it. If it's happening in our half, that's something to worry about. Particularly in the middle. <clears throat> but Particularly in why, the middle. That's yeah. why I don't want to see Gallagher playing in the pivot. I want him playing at ten if you don't play him, because if he if he's going to turn, he can the afford ball, to lose the ball higher up the pitch. That's exactly right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 
Do you think we'll bring Santos back in January? I can't believe we're talking about fucking Gallagher playing the 10th for Chelsea Football Club. But that's, the, that's what you're going to see on Saturday. Oh, oh, I know that's what I want to see. I'm just letting, I'm just realizing this is what we have, and I'm, and I'm really expecting us to get top four. Let me really lower, I got to lower my expectations, like all jokes aside. Like, what the fuck I be thinking about? We got Gallagher at the 10, my nigga, Gallagher. At the 10, yes, we up? went from Hazard, Juan Mata, and you know, to Gallagher. Gallagher at the 10. Biggest downgrade. I mean, we, we went, went from Hazard to Nuni, bro. Gallagher at the 10. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and everywhere I go, everywhere I turn to, if there's like an English host, they like, oh, I love Gallagher. I'm like, I bet you the fuck you do. Because he looked like you. He looked like he could be your cousin. Oh, That's why God, you like God, him. Because you can't God, tell me he's a God, good God. fucking footballer. Yo, could you stop singing, you <laughs> fucking retarded, dumb, <laughs> fucking big sour sack of shit? He was good last game, though. <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was good last game. Good game. <laughs> you sing again while I'm talking, you fat motherfuckers. <laughs> you think I don't know what the fuck you're doing? Fat sack of shit. Every time I go to tell you, go to sing. Sing a dick that's in your mouth, you fat bitch. That's, that's evil, man. God damn. Nah, Jimmy. That's evil, bro. Oh, man, fuck him. I'm tired of him with his fucking... Jimmy, uh, we talk. We're, we're coming to this game on the back of the way, man. Be Shut the fuck up, man. Shut the Jesus fuck up. Jesus Christ. Shut the my fuck man up. Said, my man said you're a waste of cows, bro. God damn, bro. That's, that's cold. <laughs> man. The fucking time I go to talk, this bitch-ass nigga go to sing. Go see your man dick. Fucking pussy. Uh, damn, that's it, bro. He's dead. He's dead, man. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Nah, he ain't dead until I see that fucking leg shaking and he pissed on himself. That's when his he leg's can. not even in the camera, bro. How are you gonna see, man? Jeez. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Is anyone going to Burnley away? Yes. Uh, unlucky. Yeah, same I, day, I got a bad feeling about Burnley away. Fucking no, it's good. Are you on the camp? Fucking Saturday morning, seven, seven, seven a.m. You know. Yeah, I'll, I'll be in bed, bro. I just got a feeling we're going to lose. Enjoy, man. Uh, what? what the hell's wrong with young people now? I have a feeling we're going to lose. Is that, yeah, not, I mean, is that like I an mean, outrageous yeah, thing I, to say? Yeah, but it's every it's week. We're going to lose. We're going to lose. Because guess what? if we win, then I look like I can, I can celebrate. We're losing, if, we, if we lose, then it doesn't make me feel bad because I said we were going to lose. What the fuck is that? Way? That is a horrible way to live your life, man. Bro, we, Bro we that's, how this, that's, that's how this generation is. That's how this generation is. What are you like waffling about, younger... generation? I said I think we're going to lose against Burnley because we won six games in 2023. Like that's got nothing to do with this generation. That's just yeah, but that's that, that's before that's before Mudrik came on his uh, villain arc, bro. You don't know. You don't know what's going to happen, bro. <laughs> Let's go, Mudrik. Bro, Burnley away is not going to be an easy game. Trust me, it's not going to be easy. Special. I think they might have more possession. Man, my guy said, big up frauds and spell frauds wrong, man. Yeah, yeah, Alex, go away, man. Yeah, You're too drunk, off, Enjoy Alex. your vacation, bro. Enjoy your yeah, vacation, fuck bro. Off. Fuck off. Enjoy your vacation. Fuck off. Cunts. What? Hey, calm yeah, down, bro. bro. Have more possession, bro. Have more possession. That's not you, Fatur. Stop you it, know, bro. That's not that's you, man. I don't go team, running. Uh, that one team that they played. Oh, I was getting a drink. What's wrong with that? Oh, fair enough. You fair need enough. to stop getting drinks, bro. Drink some water, bro. It's not gonna kill you. Hey. <laughs> what do you mean? What I mean about this? That generation, Fatur's age and younger. Y'all so fucking pessimistic. Everything is, is. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. It's gonna. What if? What if it go? What? Oh, uh, 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 crying like what the fuck? <laughs> All you see is doom and gloom. Why like, don't like, you do water? Are, are, are you in therapy? Like no, bitch. Yeah, it's your, wa problem. your water is so old, it's even fucking expired, man. Water doesn't even expire. That bottle's been there for three generations, man. Mm. So, Zach, why do you think we might lose this game? Because this seems like the most winnable game we've had in months. Yeah. Zach Listen, is just negative, I think, negative I spot, think we can oh, win it. Burn, I think we've, got, we've obviously got the tools to win it. If we play Burnley like we did against Fulham, if, if, then... If, if, uh, if we're not going to beat Burnley away, you're not gonna, you don't think we're going to win any game. 
No game. If you don't think we're gonna win this game, I mean, Burnley away is a difficult. It's a difficult you don't game. Think we're gonna no, Burnley away is not. It's game. not. It's not a difficult game. It's not a difficult it's game. We should be winning. They haven't won. won. They haven't won fucking their last Burnley. four home games. Yeah, they, they play. They play a high exactly. line. They? they play a high line. Yeah, that too. Like yeah. they've only just scraped a win against a Luton side. We beat three 0 without even playing that. Yeah, well plus we got a day. We got a day like to rest. If we don't win this game convincingly, then that is alarming. Like we we will win this. Like I'm Wait, I'm very I don't this care is a, if we win this us is a team as well. Like, to win. This is a team like Fulham that cannot defend. Like defensively, yeah. they're horrible. If we hit them in transition, it's gonna be long for them. Like they we, we will get a lot of space. Uh, listen, Steve, I think Steve, we stop talking about bro. Put the fixture, put the fixture for Steve. Steve, put the fixture I, for the I, I'm clicking on it. This shit ain't I don't know what's going on. Put fixture, oh, I want to see for tomorrow. Chelsea, bro. Chelsea. Yeah, okay. So, but... We have the nicest badge in the Premier League, bro. Nobody has a nicer badge than we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Habibi! 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 What's going on, man? What the f- What is this time? You have the best badge oh. in Europe, in my opinion. 1230. Ah, oh, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, American it's, time. Yeah. Here's a sexy yeah, yeah. graph. Here's a sexy <laughs> There you go. Assalamu alaikum. So, one one four nil. Oh, we beat the four nil in uh, March. We won our last five games at Turf Moor, so we got a good record there as well. Like, yeah. Yeah. talk about Burnley away is a hard game. Fuck, I used to be man. Like, oh, yeah, I remember. No, like, used to be back in the day. They used yeah, to be Sam Dice. Yeah. That was years yeah. ago. Oh, was it Burnley or was it Stoke? Stoke is the one that was the kind of... No, no, Burnley. 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 Oh, we used to struggle yeah. against them. They used to come to the bridge and never lose. Never. Oh, but yeah. now we smoke them. Every game, we smoke them. It ain't the same anymore. Yeah. That's that's it. It. That four 0 Burnley away win, I thought that Havertz finally arrived because that was his like third game in Fucking a row. Fucking hell. But no, he became ass again. Havertz. Oh, my what about? No, big, big up Alex, but yeah, that, that, that's yeah. crazy. Fuck. Fatou was catching strays all the time. Fatou. I read a stat earlier where uh, earlier in the in the in the show today. They haven't beat you guys with a clean sheet since 1973. So that that that, that is pretty uh that is a good stat. Bur- yeah. Burnley away is a hard game. I don't think we're gonna win. I don't think we're gonna win. No, we we will we'll, we will win. We we'll will win. win. No. No, 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 no. I think we're in good form, man. We're in good form. Oh, yeah, Zach, Zach said we're going to lose. We're gonna I didn't lose. say we're we gonna... were going to lose. I just said <laughs> I got a feeling we're not going to win. Well, I, I, I think Lewis, are, we allowed, play... are we allowed to say cunt? Are we allowed to say cunt on stream? Oh, you, you we've already passed that. So, yeah, and... yeah, you yeah, just... Zach, Zach, well. Zach is a negative cunt, man. That's so we're not going to win. So what the fuck are we going to do? Draw? You're predicting... No, I, I didn't necessarily say we were going to lose. I just said I got a feeling we ain't going to win. I don't know. Like, it depends what Chelsea turns up. We can sit so here and talk lose about... we're going to lose a draw. We can sit here and talk about how bad Burnley are, but how great were Nottingham Forest or Bournemouth when we played them? Like, come but on, that's let's before, not that's, act. That's not that's act like this Chelsea 11, game though. is some, we... some consistent monster that just beats so every single just... team in front of them. We have... So, so we, we just win two games, look the same way... I can't understand you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Game underwater. Yeah, you saw your mic first. Yeah, we can't hear you, man. Hear you. <laughs> I love, I love this website. Underwater. Underwater. <laughs> Make a song, Prince Fatur. Make a song. Bro. All up. I mean, all up. I just say Pumba, it's the same. No, I think if, if we if we turn up and we do what we can do, like what we did against Fulham, I think yeah, we will see, win. Boys. I'm just We're not sure Amanda, about it. Alex Ratnick, Sussex, Sufanda, Chelsea. Keith, oh, yeah. bro. Oh. Chelsea, boys. <laughs> We're on Is that demonetized, yeah? Oh, are we Chelsea past boys. that? We passed that long ago. It's okay. Has this stream ever been monetized? Like yes, some yes, yes. No, Alex. She said no. She said no, Alex. Fucking pop no. up. Yeah, yo. Yo, what the fuck, bro? What? But there was a fight doing that. Hey, Lewis, what's going on, bro? <clears throat> I, I don't don't know. Know. How many drinks did you have before the stream, bro? How many drinks did you have? Look, what passion what? fruit? Martin. Yeah, that's that's one. How many drinks did you have before this? You come, you came uh, into this. Bro, have any of you ever seen? Have, 
Have any of you ever seen Fatou drink water, bro? My guy, you fucking blood. No, no, Fata, how many drinks did you have before you came on the stream, bro? Four. Four. Okay, I understand now. I understand. How how much chicken did you have? Because you have retarded when you eat chicken. Plus Asian tax, and then you there you go, man. No wonder he's drunk, bro. Yeah, yeah, he, he's off his head. All right, cool. Yeah, I think that's the chicken. That ain't that ain't the liquor. The chicken. <laughs> Versus Burnley, all time. You've won forty-one games, drawn twenty-five, lost thirty-eight, which is crazy to be fair. I thought, wow. But then again, nineteen hundreds tax. So yeah, look at this. Like one of the old, oldest teams, isn't it? Like yeah, one of the most yeah. original teams. There you go. So you haven't lost to them in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bro, I remember those draws, man. Those, those draws, I don't even deserve draws, but <clears throat> I don't even you remember last, them. I can't lie. You last lost to Burnley in 1983, 3 0 in the division. Key A. Key A, the pass doesn't matter. The pass doesn't matter, bro. Stop the it. Don't let anybody say otherwise. What is this stats? These aren't stats. These are. This is. This is historical data. Is it? Yeah, keep singing, bro. Atul, keep singing, bro. I like your voice, man. What me? Yeah, sound like a fisherman, bro. Keep going. What? Keep going, bro. You're all right, guy, man. Let him sing, bro. He's happy, man. What me happy? I don't know, man. Oh, uh. I, I really do think that Jackson should start. Salary, salary. All right, shut up, man. That doesn't oh. even rhyme no more. Stop it, man. Oh, <laughs> really that's the worst, bro. That's the worst you Chelsea you, song, man. You the asked him to sing. He said no. Bro, I thought he was gonna pick up a good song though, Jimmy. Salary, salary. Oh no, wait. You, you, you asked him to sing, right? He said no. Oh, yeah. And then he waited until right. somebody started talking. Then some started singing. Yeah, it's passive, see that, it's passive aggressive retardism. Yeah, he's, he's fucking retarded. <laughs> he needs attention. He needs attention. You could tell his fucking parents <laughs> built his room <laughs> all the way in the back. All the way in the back. Right? <laughs> yeah. His, his parents probably built him his own fucking house. Yeah, there you go. Here's the key. Don't ever come back. <laughs> or they or they just lock him in the basement. No, he doesn't no, look like it. Does he look like That's... he fucking got locked in the basement, bro? In the basement, I guess the they would still in the be kitchen, in bro. the same fucking house with him. They do not want to be in the same fucking house. He had his own house. The only way he got locked in the basement, that basement had two fridges, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the deep freezer down I'm here, sorry, you know, Fatou. I love you, Fatou. Don't, don't hate me, bro. I'm just joking, bro. You know you're my favorite overweight person, bro. Stop it. No. Oh man! No, he's this not. is one. This is one. We have a slow new state. But is shaped like a one. like a Magnum ice cream, bro. I yeah, love that guy. This man. is one. 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 Said, this just... what happened when you had a slow new state? Your favorite obese person, yeah. bro. He, right, Fatou, bro, I love Fatou. Fatou is shaped like an ice cream sandwich, bro. And he leave the guy alone, man. Gotta love him, man. <laughs> He's shaped like robot number five, man. You ever seen that movie? <laughs> oh, he's shaped like a donkey. That's why. He's shaped like Tinky Winky, bro. <laughs> He's shaped like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Mm. Fatter, bro. Nah, you know what? You did it to yourself today. That's always getting bullied, man. Fatter, bro. No, nah, I can't lie. He did it to himself <laughs> today. <laughs> What do you mean today? Most days he does it to himself. Yeah, he does it to himself. Fatour is half bald at 24. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> How can you be half bald? Did he so virgin, bro? Oh, mate. According to uh, the odds on DraftKings here in the States, the so correct score, the most likely correct score with the one of the lowest two, odds is 1-1. One, one. One. For the Burnley game? 1-1. One, one. Yeah. One one, it's at plus five hundred. The next most likely is is either two to one Chelsea or two nil Chelsea, and then actually Chelsea. in the middle of that is yeah. plus five fifty. Yeah, if one. we can score two against Fulham, I mean, then I was going to say we should be three scoring nil at least two, three nil like, is plus one thousand one hundred. Their their defense is shockingly bad. Right, like it's terrible. Cool. Yeah. Apart from apart from Trafford, who's been good so far this season, from what I've seen, their defense sucks. Yeah, you know, everybody raving about this guy. How good company! The only one of races, Coley Osha. 
That's about it. And he's not I, think company, I think companies are decent. I, mean, the whole squad. I think they've they've got a, a great squad. To be honest. Uh, they've got some decent players, and going forward, they're good to watch. Like they're a good team to watch, but defensively, they are arse. They've yeah. got so many mistakes in them defensively; it's em- embarrassing. Like that guy. It's because they, they, they got that bomb, Josh Cullen. I don't. Jesus I don't, Christ! I don't think he's very good, bro. To be honest. Fator, don't be sad, bro. We love you, Fator. I love personally. I love you. I remember. I'm coming in February to so get me tickets. I, I love you, though. No, not because of the tickets. Bro. But I, but I, but after you give them the tickets, stay away from. I'm not. I'm not, really I'm not that tough. <laughs> I know. We'll we'll go for we'll go for a pint, bro. But we have to walk like three meters away from me, man. I want to get the English. Yeah. Bro, yeah. Bro. <laughs> I, I, I live. I live just outside of Cobham. For for those who's asking. So yeah. Nah, I'm joking. In front of a man. In front of yeah, a we'll man. Have, we'll, have a we'll have a pint. We'll have a pint, bro. We'll have a pint, bro. We'll have a pint, bro. No, no it's eye right. contact, bro. We're not gonna make eye contact, bro. Well, come, yeah, he's gonna sit on. He's gonna you know sit what? on one it's, end of the pub and you sit on the other end. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like, pub down the street. bro. It, it's gonna be like a work team building, bro. Nobody makes eye contact, so people don't assume we're friends, man. We're acquaintances. It's an acquaintances yeah, meeting, bro. <laughs> that'll be. I'm gonna have a drink just in different Alex, pubs. Alex, just one go, pub, just go on a holiday, man. You, you, you. I live friend free in your head, Alex. Yeah, Alex. wasn't Alex in a holiday? Did Alex come back? Alex, are you still on holiday? Come to Europe, Alex. Come to Europe, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come to Europe. Linking up a Thai Alex restaurant, Mother Russia. Man, I miss Russia, man. I wish I could go back. Nosfedania. Nosfedania. That's the one word you know to say goodbye every time you go to a restaurant, bro. That's the one no, restaurant. Previet. Previet. Previet is good, yeah. This means hello. You have the Russian vocabulary of a retarded child. Congratulations, Kato. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I, I, I actually like Fatur. Fatur, uh, you, you think I, I bully my friends worse than I do you, bro? That's just how I am, man. Come Good on, we all like special. Hey, this is what happens when you get slow news day. It's on day one. To I'm be fair, street. yeah. To be fair, we bully even if it's like. Bro, it's like, only cocktail. It's not even like a proper vodka today, man. Yeah, you seem fine. You seem calm. Exactly, I'm seem fine. Yeah, right, we're fine. Bro. Talk for tomorrow, man. Away day, seven in the morning trains. Why not? Isn't it? Yeah, the only real questions on the lineup is if Mudrick and Caicedo are fit to start because watch into that yeah. final test for them before they make a decision. If they aren't fit to start, it's probably going to be, let's say, Leslie and Sterling to replace them. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only that's the only two questions. Them two and does Broja start or Nicholas Jackson? That's a yeah. good question. The only reason this guy is getting married if his parents arrange it. Who are you talking about? Fuck. Me. Fuck you know, man said arrange marriage and that. L- L- yeah, Jackson Bill. or Broja? Who do we think who do you guys want to see start? I'd still oh, start Jackson. Jackson. Just because you scored a ghost goal, bro, doesn't mean you have to start, bro. Come on, let's be honest, man. I think it's not even that for me. I'll go. I would go, bro. Yeah, I would go, bro. Yeah, for for me, if if I if I if I was betting on y'all to win, I would say, yeah, I would rather see go Broya. with bro. Why? 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 I'm I need to just, give I, me a reason. I, 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 I was in, I was impressed with him versus Fulham, bro, and like I think impressed um, with what the miss. What? Were you impressed with the miss? He just looked more comfortable at striker. The move, the 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 the, the yeah, movements no. he was doing, the hold up play, the recognition. He 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 scored a goal, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. he scored he a goal. That, was like, was, that, that, yes, we're not knows. doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> I just, it was, it was a just tremendous I mean, touch, and it bounced off his leg and went in. Basically, yeah, we're not doing chill. that. He did. I'm happy yeah. for him, but yeah. like he yeah. didn't do anything to make he got, it. He was got a happy credit for a goal, but he ain't scored. Yeah, yeah. he Tim got Reed credit for a goal. But he said, he he, I think he, I think he, Mudrik he, would start he, though. Mudrik is gonna start for sure. I don't think. By the way, I don't think it's like a travesty if Jack Jackson starts. I would probably just lean Broya a little bit. Why? A, why? Good, you're a Newcastle fan, of course. Yeah. You're gonna lean Broya, what are you talking about? Well, well, Okay, well, okay, all right. Let's say, all right, let, all right, all right, all right. If you want to go there, if I, if it, let's say Broya and Jackson were at Newcastle, and Isak and Wilson weren't there, and we just did the Fulham thing, right? Who would I want to start? Probably Broya. And I play Nico Jackson on the wing, and then like Anthony Gordon. I'd be, ben, I'd, what are you basing I'd that go, on? You know, manager, man. Yeah, why? Why is bro? Why would you put bro? What are you starting, bro? 
Yo, Jimmy oh, Hart. Damn, Jimmy, bro. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I think I think Jackson should start. And anyway, I think I'm, it's I'm, better I'm, for Broder if he's yeah. eased into I it. I think anyway. the striker that starts That's the will probably be the I'm going to be completely honest because I keep seeing this debate online. I don't care. Yeah, me neither. It, whoever starts is fine because they're both in form in sense of they scored. In, in, in the last game they both played, they both scored. Both are good, yeah. So I, I just feel yeah. like... One nah, game. but you, you gotta choose one, Scott, that is more like... I don't, kind of, I don't care. Game, if but... I had to choose one, I'd choose Brozier, but that's just because he played in the last game and played well, I thought. So just carry on in terms of confidence. But if he starts Jackson, I also don't care. Because the last game I'm he saying, played, Scott, he wasn't the best. Game, I say he wasn't the best, but he scored two goals, technically speaking. One like was disallowed, but he technically scored two. Yeah. So I don't yeah. care. Like, that's I, what I, want care striker, I want them to have a shit game and just score two or three goals, man. Exactly. I don't care about hold up play. I don't care about nothing. I want to score. No, I want to honestly. No, no, no. I want to continue. I want to continue to where we we like start from last game because last game we played really good passes. We played very fluid. Yeah. I want us to continue from there. If we win, I still want us to win. Yeah, but I also want to see us continue on to build on what we had before. Right? Yeah. I don't want to just I, to fucking fuck up and get the ball. Say, that's, want, that's why I say I would like Brozier to start because it's just carry on con like continuity from last game. But if I the only that. change you made, if you kept the rest of the team the same. And the only change you made was Jackson for Brozier. I'm also not going to be upset. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sterling, uh, Sterling Sterling shouldn't start. Like I think we all can agree on this. Oh no, obviously. No, Sterling, yeah, okay. yeah, Sterling should be sold. Well, it depends but, who's fit, but yeah. Like, should or shouldn't should start. Steve, I should I, a bit like steps uh, before, like, but yeah. Jackson oh, is a better second striker and Brozier's a more traditional nine. I think not, they, not even they, that. Like you can play together. Looking elsewhere though, taking out the striker, the rest of the team shouldn't change. I think we can all agree yeah. on that. The rest yeah. of the team should not change. Yeah. Yeah, unless Mudrick maybe Enzo, that. maybe Enzo should, maybe Enzo should start. That should change on no. the other team. Honestly, the team. Oh, yes. honestly, the, the rest of the team should be the same as the last game, provided everyone was is good. Enzo was good. Provided, yeah, provided everyone is fit enough to start, the t the team bar the striker should be the exact same. No, there's the no reason is, anyone else can come out. No reason. Corella has been brilliant. If he unless. takes him up, I'll be pissed. Last mm. two games has been very nah, very he'll good. Play. He'll he'll definitely play, but I just don't know whether he'll play. Well, he, I guess I guess he's got to play on the right, hasn't he? But he, they, they, I, I can't see him putting like the only other people you could put there is Caicedo and Desassi, and I, I don't want to see that. But but you know you know what it is with Kukurela? he just needed game time, bro. They give the guy yeah, a little bit of games, that, and you saw you saw the benefit. Hundred percent. He was they were just giving him like well, the thing with Pada that pissed me, Pada and Lampard that pissed me off about them. They would just give him like a game at the end of the a chance at the end of the game when it's already over, and then they expect him to do something. At least now he's getting like from the beginning. That's the one thing that he's doing really, really 100%. well. And it showed, you know, his defensive is good. Vincent ability is good. Off the ball, he's very good passing wise as well. I, yeah. I, I don't want to use the P word, but he's so passionate, man. Like, he's so. He's got... I love him. Like... P word. Oh, I thought you meant something else, bro. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. No, we don't, we, don't, we don't do that anyway. Well, that's what you said, bro. P word. I, I did think even word. if Corella plays really well tomorrow at right back, Gusto Reese is probably going to start for that Arsenal. Yeah. I agree, I agree, but I think even though, I mean even even though, Poch is a fucking sicko, so he's not gonna do this, but in a perfect world, Reese or Go Gusto come back and then you play Colwell at left center back. Yeah, Cucurella at left back, and yeah. then whoever you want to put on right center back, whether it's Badia Shield or whether it's yeah. um De Sassi or Sassi or Silva. He loves I, I don't want to see Silver in there anymore, man. I'm sorry. Oh, but it, but it would be it would be really really cruel from him. If, let's say let's say Cucurella has a, has a really good game tomorrow, and then mm. he benches them when Reece James on these guys. Because I I I think like arguably he was our best player in the last two games. He was up there. He was definitely one of our, be our who, best. Who was better than him defensively? Who was better than defensively? Top four for sure. Yeah, and it'll be it'll be cool if he you know benches both Gusto and Reece for Arsenal because you know he deserves to play. He's been playing. Well, me. If wait, so is Gusto back for the Arsenal game? Yeah, yeah, and Reese. Yeah, okay. yeah, he's back. Reese won't hurt. Yeah, but way. Reese, I don't even fam Reese, that guy, like bro. <laughs> let's, let's let him That's... play five or ten games in it, and then I'll start I'll start considering Reese as a long term option. Like for me, I can't like I hope well, I hope you, for his sake. You don't have Zach, we don't have to consider him a long term, but the club does because he's yeah. arguably the oh, best player. I'm, I'm talking as he's in like play. thinking of how we're gonna move forward as a team because he's probably gonna be out, bro. Like yeah, but if he's available, they're gonna play him. That's why no, he's good no, I hope not. I hope not. I don't. I hope I'm just being negative, but no, I was negative, bro. Yeah, I'd rather be, bro. I'd rather be negative, and that I don't let myself down. Like I, I already get used to. It's gonna be shit. 
So basically, you're a, you're a 29 year old female, bro, who's single, bro. Same mentality. Yeah? All right, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> I mean, it is the path to less misery. There you go. Aren't you like 12? You're already fucking depressed. What's wrong with these people, bro? <laughs> Why is it 12? He was promoted like to Kitzel. He's very happy, bro. God damn, what a miserable ass. I'm not, I'm not depressed. I'm not miserable. Just... <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, right. Stop it, stop. I ain't miserable, bro. I'm chilling. But when I just said y'all fucking generations, a bunch of pessimistic bitches. There you go, Jimmy. Y'all exactly. just around five minutes later and proved it to me, right? You you said that off bitches. the basis of me saying oh, I feel that, like you But you not just win. came out and just said, said that again, oh, I'd rather be, I'd rather be negative and then. Bad disappointed. Yeah, but I'm not Jimmy, but that's why I said it's a 29 year old single yeah. woman, bro. Same, same. I'm same not a vibe, pessimistic bro. person. Like, I, I'm just not. I'm not like, I don't think, oh, fucking hell, I gotta wake up today. Oh, no, no, no. Like, I enjoy my life, innit? But in terms of, in terms of football, like, I, I just don't look forward to, to seeing this beat. Like, I think yeah. here's what I think will happen tomorrow for y'all. I think Burnley might have a bit more possession. They'll get shots off, but not not many on target. Kaleisho is going to be the main protagonist. Yeah, he's a boy. And I, 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 I just think you guys have to, when you have a chance, score it. Yeah. Like you need to, you need to, you, you know, just, I, and I think you'll Damn, do Jimmy's that. catching strays, bro. <laughs> I think you'll do that. But like it won't be like I don't think it'll be comfortable. Some moments yeah. maybe the game will be comfortable if you get the first goal. Sure, I think I'll go for y'all to win like two to one or something. Yeah, right. I hear that. Yeah, I, th I, mean, I think we win. I think we, we played good enough on the last two games that where we where we can we can win. We should game. be keeping a clean sheet. Yeah, we should. Be. Yeah, I mean clean sheet would be nice, but for me the most important thing is how we play. If we play fluid and and uh, the win, then clean sheet comes third. Like if oh, we cool. are winning, if we're winning, if we let's say Lewis, if we win three three nil or two nil, and then the last minute they score a goal, be like all right, you know, like, is, at least like we improved the, on like, like the PSG Newcastle game. I wasn't too bothered they scored because I figured they would anyways. We're up three nil, so I was like, all right, word. I'm so pissed that I didn't I watch that game. Time. Why did you what? watch it? I just I was doing something else and I, I could have watched it with my dad, but couldn't you close the Pornhub tab and then continue later, bro? Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I knew that one was coming. There's a why did you open your mouth, Zach? You, you knew yeah, it was coming, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stuff for law. Um, oh, big up to can... Dr. Mohammed with a donation saying Pogba's second test plus four year ban. Sad ending. Yeah, he, he tested positive for the second doping test. He's bro, happy. why did he wrote that super chat like he actually tested him, bro? That, that's the way. Dr. Muhammad, did you do the first test, bro? Is there, <laughs> he's, the, he's a doctor as well. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, bro. He wrote like he's the one who tested it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Pope was done. He's, he's I, I think they're trying yeah. to set him up, man. Yeah, bro. No, I don't. I don't up. think this. Uve, yeah, Uve, Uve, to get him off the books. It's a medical test. And yeah, man. You, 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 you think it's FIFA, bro? You just add an event, bro. bro they can't eight, just fucking test him. Eighty percent, eighty percent of these footballers are doping, bro. Oh, my, they, they, organizations, no, but bro, you just eighty percent of these footballers are doping. Respectfully, Minimum. Zach, Minimum. they have a lot of they have a lot of testing, bro. Stop it, man. You, you just now you're just getting himself out of your ass, bro. Stop it, man. Bro, this There's is the already... we're talking about. This is not some. It like... doesn't matter. Bro, no, it doesn't matter get if it's if... doping control all the time. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter if it's my nan bingo. Class, I remember Pear Check got it's... called in the Champions League final after winning. He never got to celebrate with the teammates. Yeah, it is, it's very strict rules, man. Zach is just a uh, he's a pessimistic nah, man, guy. Bring Pogba, you know? bring Pogba to the bridge. Bring Pogba to the bridge. I'll take him. Get him on the injections. I'll Bro, take he's him. not going to be playing for like. Three, four years or something now. It's oh, fine. Damn. Tarda, bring him back. Wages are going to be crazy. Oh, damn. Fatur, you have no profile to, to your face, bro. You're literally <laughs> built like a volleyball, man. <laughs> <laughs> My guy has no chin, nothing, bro. <laughs> why is why why Fatur catch his face, fam? No, <laughs> like, Fatur, just, just, just he has just no profile, bro. bro. He has no side side profile, bro. How do how do how did you how do you unlock your iPhone with your face, bro? You have to do. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, my days, bro. I'm sorry, but what I had to say, it, bro. Oh, yeah, Pogba's career is over. Yeah, he's finished. I guess. Nah, 20, 20, when, When's he back? Unless, unless he's given a short ban. Twenty twenty seven. Pog back, baby. That's right. Pog FC, we're going crazy. He's coming back. Yeah, and MLS. 
Yeah, or Saudi. How old is he going to be then? Like, nah, man, the remontada is going to be crazy. 2028 20, euros. Trust me, bro. Pogba's coming back, man. <laughs> How See, much euros? I'm paying nothing for him, bro. He's right there. Email like Euro. Mad. But we should be winning tomorrow, at least 2 0 or 2 1. We'll see. To be honest, I, I'm not even looking at the score. I just need a comfortable win. And if we win and we create loads of chances, but we only score one, eh, is what it is. But I just need a comfortable win. Yeah. Bro, am I the only one who think we're going to win like like decisively? Like we're going to win 2 0, 3 0? We could. Oh, 3, yeah. 3 1. I think that as well. So we're playing, we're on momentum. We're playing if well. we get one or two early, I could, I feel like that could definitely happen, innit? But it just depends how the game goes, innit? Like, yeah. Let's see. It depends. Yeah, a lot can change. Like, you get one or two goals early, you start getting into your rhythm. You know, who knows what can happen. But on the same side, if we miss, you know, a couple easy chances early on, you know, and the, the game starts to go on, you never know with Chelsea, man. Yeah. Yeah. I look forward to the game for the first time in ages. Because I feel very comfortable that we're going to win yeah, this one. Confident. I'm just worried he's going to go revert back to the, to the different lineup, bro. We have to win this one. Like this is a. I must... don't see any reason for him to revert unless he's there's injuries. Injury. Ster Ster he, I feel like he might put Sterling back in. He, uh, he confirmed know. there is no injuries, though. He confirmed there's no new injuries. No, no. He said there needs to be some final checks on Mudrik and Caicedo. Oh, but they'll be in the squad, so at the most they'll be on the bench. Bro, Casado, give him a needle, bro, and let him play, bro. We can't play nah, without this guy. Man. Nah, man. Nah, it's not. Who are you going to play instead of Casado, bro? Casado is not. 115. Leslie. Leslie. Oh, Leslie yeah. Exactly. 115 oh. million sign in. There's no way we're giving him needles and, and, and risk him fucking up his legs for the rest of his career, bro. It's not worth it, man. Yeah, because he's got to go international duty, and you know he's going to want to play every game there, too. Exactly, so. man. And them nah. South American games. Fam, I was watching, uh, who was it? Uh, Uruguay versus um, thingy, Caicedo's nation. What's it? Ecuador. Ecuador. And bro, they just fly into tackles, fam. Like, they're like some... South American football is crazy. They're dirtier, they're dirtier for sure, yeah. 100%. Like, Smart. Yugate, he tried body checking Kendry Paez and got absolutely thrown to the floor, fam. Like, yeah. Yeah. Fatal yeah. loses. I, uh, I think he's. Fatal I think he's gonna play. Twenty kg gets hench and takes Kai's goal. That'll be a there's crazy storyline. There is more chances of uh, of of of, of Lewis becoming six foot one, bro. That happening, bro. Never happening. Oh, oh no, got a chance. Let's go. Shout out, shout out, Kubo of Sociedad that he won Baller. the player of the month. Yeah, very good player. I like Kubo. <laughs> bro, like guys him. like him make me think. Why the fuck did we sign Noni Madueke, man? Him and yeah. Sterling. Because Kubo's lie. been established for like. Fuck up, Noni. F fuck up, Noni. Sell him. I'm gonna go on mute before I get it. Yeah, yeah. more time. I, I'm like. How much weight is 20 kg? Oh, let me, let me let me do some math. How much pounds? Like, it's like 50 kilograms. something pounds? 50 so pounds? Got Fat Tua losing 50 pounds. What the fuck is that going to do, bro? Fat Tua losing 50 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> 20 kg is 44 pounds. No, yeah, that nigga, that's light. a waste of that time. <laughs> still going to have shit. He's still going to have two chins. That, nah, he ain't getting that. He's going to have two chins. <laughs> Bro, leave with Fatura. I love you, bro. It's not me this time, bro. Well, fuck out of here, but take Kai's bitch. We're losing 20 kg. 120 kg, baby. Right, was there any other news? Chelsea are trying to end the uncertainty surrounding the future of Conor Gallagher by tying him down to a new long term contract. If they give I him think they just contract, want to... I'm done. I'm no, done. but I think, they, I think the aim would be to give him a contract to sell him for more money. Yeah, that's it's happened true, before. Yeah. Like that's the true. club clearly don't want to keep him. They tried to sell him all summer. If they have a release clause, perfect. But no, honestly, Gallagher, you got to you got to give him his flowers for last game. He did really well last game. I can't lie. Gallagher ain't getting no fucking release clause. Man, man. Who is he? The actual Gallagher ain't good enough to actually no fucking <laughs> release clause. Our release clause. Sit your ass down. And <laughs> I, did, I didn't want five dollars. Like, like leaves at some point long term later down the line. But yeah, he's not gonna get one. <laughs> If we sign, if we if we giving people like Gallagher a contract, we wouldn't go. If Gallagher played for another team, we wouldn't fucking sign him. So I don't know why all these fucking 
uh, Cobham section was Want Gallagher. If he played for another team, nobody would say, sign Gallagher. But we want to keep him. Get him the fuck out of here. Get He's a Crystal so Palace they, level player, bro. That's where he was at his best for pretty much a whole season. They, they don't want to go and work forty-seven m straight profit. It's not like I want to get Gallag get rid of Gallagher for nothing. Don't get me wrong. He has value. He has a lot of value, and the value he has yeah. on the market don't match up to his play. You he just doesn't fit us, man. He just doesn't fit us. Yeah, he's not. We can get 50 million, 40, 50 million for him, but oh, he brother. doesn't actually give you 40 or 50 million dollars worth of play, in my opinion. Get him out of here. Get the money. Get the money. What he brings, you can get from a fucking French, a 20 year old French player right now. Somewhere, yeah, somebody, that... somewhere playing for one of these fucking teams that Bro, Steve is going to do a stream for what, in about what's two his weeks. Contra where did he sign his contract? Did he sign his contract from the old owners or the new ones? That that's what you should ask. If he's I'm from the old sure owners, the one who signed his contract, they're gonna let him go, man. They're gonna re-sign him because they have a structure yeah, they, in mind. They're gonna if they but they're gonna re-sign him, but they're gonna re-sign him to sell that ass. Yeah, pause. They that's sell why. They're protect his value. Yeah, protect his value, and then bouncing bouncing up out of here. And don't get me wrong, Gallagher's been playing decent, but I don't give a fuck. I seen him play all last year. I seen him play for Palace. I already know he's not good enough. It's not. But I think the club knows that they can get more than 40. That's why they didn't accept it for him, man. Oh, and the way he's playing now, you could give 50. Yeah, they thought they could get 50. Mm. I need Southgate to keep calling them up. Keep that England <laughs> international the value. Southgate rate bum fucking footballer. Uh, aren't, they gonna, aren't they going to sack him, though? Aren't they going <laughs> to sack him? <laughs> they oh, know. Why would they sack him? Why, they didn't sack him. That's what I heard. Southgate, you, think they, 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 you think they'll sack Southgate? They're little they're yes man. They'll pocket. never they're sack Southgate. Oh. They're going to they're gonna sack him, bro. They'll never uh, sack Southgate. They will not the FA, bro. It's the FA. They don't have any I swear they were talking about something like Pep or, or Arsenal. No, they were talking about like that, because bro. Southgate might leave after the next Pep. Euros. Um, they're talking about getting Pep in, but why the hell would Pep go for the England job? Because he dreamed that. of playing Mason Mount as a midfielder. Yeah, Pep. Did you say Pep? That's, that's yeah. what they said they wanted to Pep. replace the England why manager with. with Pep coach England? I don't know. I don't know. England, is not a bad, bro, England is not a bad team, man. They, they've consistently no, we're, the quarters, we're, the semis. We're a good team, but why would... I don't understand why Pep... This is not a team of England. winners. Yeah, just bro. the football is also kind bro. of disgusting. But, but that's not... England is Spurs. What are we talking about? They're Spurs. You and, they're really? Spurs. Come on. No, they're not, man. We are. Oh, Jimmy, you want to tell me are. they're not? No. The fuck you mean? What the team, fuck bro. have they won? England are the Spurs. Well, they of, not. Of but that's because football. they have shit coaches. I don't think they have. I think they have better squad than the, the yeah, equivalent squad, of Spurs. Yeah, but Spurs yeah, are There's no Spurs. ambition of winning in England. That's the thing. If that was yeah. the case, we would have got rid of Southgate. But we yeah, yeah. Have facts. We would have got rid of him what after the World Cup. About? They're Spurs, my nigga. They're the Spurs. I don't think they're Spurs. What do you mean you don't think they're Spurs? We just Bro, they're it. fucking bottles. They, they don't win anything. They're the Spurs. Neither does America. I don't think that it's like exposed because the thing that's stopping them is a manager, bro. Sport, who gives a fuck? I bet no, athletes play nine other are... sports. The best athletes in England play football. That's true, yeah. yeah nah, yeah. it is. It is. Yeah. It, we are the Spurs. We are definitely Spurs, bro. Like I've I've had people turn around to me and say, "How could we sack Southgate? He's done such great things for us." Exactly. Yeah, that's that's some crazy done. shit. That's exactly. Some crazy exactly. Shit. It's more like Germany. Yeah, you have no ambition not, if you want to keep Southgate. Southgate is not the guy win, to maximize the potential of that squad. He's yeah, just he's not. Dead. Never, yeah. ever in a million years. And he, because we've had, what, three tournaments to prove that? Do you know yeah. the yeah, funniest thing is? Is people people try justify like players like Harry Maguire <laughs> and Calvin Phillips playing exactly. by saying, but they try to say, oh, but he's never been bad for England, though. I don't oh, care. Shit. Get someone he's that's never better. been good neither. Yeah. They say he's never been bad, but he's never been good neither. I think oh, Maguire just benefits off of the system the most. Like he, he does look okay for England, but you're gonna look okay when you've got two DMs. Uh, look at okay for England mean. What does looking okay for England Woody? What does that mean? He looks okay. He's shit. He's not a good footballer. I don't even how could a, a footballer that's not good look good for it? He's not good. The, the nah, team looked good. He has looked good for England. The, the, the team bad, plays no. well despite of him. He's not good. A footballer that's not good can't help a team. You can't help a team when you're not good. He's not good. 
Harry Maguire does not make a team better. It's impossible. No, I agree with impossible. that. I agree with well, that. Get him, the, get, get him the fuck out of here. He ain't good. Southgate is a dickhead because he keeps, think, high, keeps bringing him out. The fact that you've got players like like Ben White, like Tamori, that aren't even getting a sniff. And then and... you bring guys like Levi Kogel to qualify us to just watch this and play. And you know Southgate started talking about the possibility of, of Colwell playing at left back now. Okay, he's he's, uh, he's <laughs> clueless. <laughs> I don't even like... rate him, but I feel sorry for him. He got that's his first call up, and he didn't even play a minute. <laughs> Also, he, yeah, but he should have gone to Ghana, though. He should have gone to Ghana, man. I just want to okay, have a, 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 a little bit of time. I want to say hello to the fat fuck that's called Daddy. Daddy. Uh, what's his name? Yeah. So if you're going to call me again, again, something. Oh, shit. Where'd he uh, go? I don't know. Oh, oh. That Russian uh, Wi-Fi, bro. bro. Russia actually have good Wi-Fi, bro. From uh, that's one of the things that people don't know. Man. Oh, big up, Leon. Ah, oh. so I'm to Alex. I don't know. Their, their, wi their Wi-Fi, their Wi-Fi is not good during the war because they use it to hack and steal secrets. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you escape the cooking, bro. You expect I wasn't to... listening because I was watching the uh, I was watching something else. He was watching thought, something I, you could I, jerk I, off to. Are, are you watching some porn or are you watching Serie A? That's racist. Exactly. Are you watching, you watching, watching, you exactly. you mm. watching some shit you could jerk off to? Oh fucking hey, am, I, am I the only one? Am I the only one who Fatur gives them like a foot fetish kind of guy, bro? Vibes. Foot fetish. <laughs> Fatur look like he'll jerk off to any part of a woman. Or a man for that sake. Anybody with flesh. <laughs> Yeah, but it looks like he watches hentai, bro. You know, yeah, you know, he just jerk off to flesh. If he just see flesh, he just get excited and beat off. He's not, he's not Jeff Dahmer, bro. Yeah, that's what he is. God. Fucking. Fuck, look at his he, fucking he, he head. Jesus. Fatur is a nice guy. Fatur, Fatur. I'm sorry, bro. I don't Fuck know why. I, I, have to I don't like I don't, I don't like, I don't like people that's out. passive aggressive about nice guy. He's a prick. He's a prick. Fuck out of here about nice guy. You know what I like about you, Kai? You're open that you're a prick. He tries know, to be bro. a nice Thank guy, you, but he's actually yeah. a bitch. It's because he doesn't have the look to be a prick, bro. That's right, man. He he has the look. He has the anybody that look at him and he got and he was a prick. They would say, "Oh, I, I get it. Look at his fucking face. Like if I was this guy, I'd be a prick too." Nah, he's a nice guy. But was a nice guy. If I was shaped like a fucking... I'm coming, bro? I don't know. You you like a fucking... If a, if a muscle spasm was a person, that'd be you, Fetor. <laughs> what? Oh you look like a walking fucking... You look like a hernia. If a hernia looked like a... If a hernia was a human, it'd oh look like God. you. I'm Cyrus, though. You look like a fucking hernia. That's what you look like. I think you look like a. Like, I, I think looks like if, this if a if a fucking if a if a if a torn Achilles was a person, hey, it'd Alex be you. Leon, I'll bring yeah, you back in, in a couple like minutes. I'm gonna let Alex in quickly. Bless right. Right. No need, no need, no need. Why is he here anyway? Big up to Doctor Muhammad saying, "What's more likely, Ballon d'Or for for Gallagher or Fatter lose?" I back Fatter. I back Fatter, man. There, there isn't a hope. I ain't losing no fucking weight. Which weight? I'm backing Fatter. Oh. He's way more likely. He's way more likely than yeah. I back I back Fatter for that one. Yeah. For what? For what? For losing the fat rather than Gallagher winning Ballon d'Or. I got a little bit. Uh, the way Fatou is talking, it's like he's a big deal and everything. And blah. But he pays everything for his life. Everything what he does, he yeah. gets paid, he pays for it. He pays for the uh, for the girls. He pays for the drinks. He wants one of those people that pays to be popular. You know what I'm saying? That's who he is. That's Fatur and the Twitch. That's nailed it. Nailed it on it. Nailed it. For Fatur, bro. Uh, Kai. <clears throat> Revelations with Foto. This is what going on now. So mad. Fuck what it the up. hell? <laughs> is Alex in the, the front line? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it was the thing I heard that. Alex, you went back right. home and joined the Red Army, my G. I heard that. That's what happens when you overcook someone. That's exactly what happened. I thought he's gonna come back, man. He went home and joined the Red Army, like, yo. Ain't this a bitch? He's like a guy with a hairline and a mustache. Oh so. my god, he's at war right now. Look up his girl, still. I think someone's Shots fired! Shots fired! Oh, uh, well, fired. Alex, I, I hope you're okay wherever you are. I hope you're yeah, okay. You're yeah, you're a sexy brother, Alex. Have some shots. Don't, 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 don't make that accusation in Russia, bro. Don't make that accusation in Russia. He's in the trenches, quite literally. Yeah. Chelsea boys, Anyone else never tried a diet Miranda? Anyone else think this edit is cold as hell? Yeah. Santi Hernandez. He's gonna get picked up soon. Who is this guy? Because I keep hearing about him. You're linked with him. Yeah, he's a Fire Nord striker. Fire Nord. Good. Good. Is he good? Yeah, he scored yeah. a couple good goals. I think it was against I like, what 25 goals in 39 games. That's insane. Yeah, bro. Yeah. What, kind of, what kind of striker is he? Like mobile striker? Is he like boo? Lewis, can you put the RTM, the RTM service uh comment? Attacking someone for their appearance and not their argument shows is very poor. I don't think anyone's even had an argument. Ah, dude, in shut this. up. Let's put his picture up so we can talk <laughs> about his appearance. Boo! He just has uh, what's his name, man. That, that weird. Uh, yeah. What's Bro, but there name? wasn't an argument. Like it's just been just gunfire the last hour or so. I think someone's That's new. Sad. I don't. I don't. Yeah, but it's like you can only shoot one person so many times. They're not shooting back. Like you're just shooting at a dead body at this point. Battle was shooting back at the start. Yeah, he was. He was. He was. Yeah. Yeah. Was actually he's gone the start. Yeah, he's gone. Ran out of bullets, man. He's gone jammed. <laughs> yeah, he's jammed. Yeah. It's a greaser with WD forty or something, Chris. Big up sarcasm right city for the raid. Big up my guy for oh, this every up. single time. Everybody will go and sub over there if you haven't done so already. I think they're on the road to nine k now. Yeah. Yeah. Big up to my people there. Big up to sarcasm city. Um, I don't think there was any other news other than that. We were linked with Santiago Jimenez, but I don't think there's too much in that now. Bro, he is. How bro. old is he? How old is he? That's how you know. How old is he? Too. Oh, there you go, man. He's got Chelsea going to sign him in general. Third sign. <laughs> it's his third full year with Feyenoord, if I'm not mistaken. He's he's a handful, bro. He is a handful. He's physical. He's, pause, he's, pause, pause, pause. How tall is he? How, how tall is he? Bro? How, how tall is he? He's a handful. Oh my. God. How tall is he though? He's he's Mexican, so I'm assuming pause, he's. Oh, bro, you keep saying it like. Oh. Oh, bro. He's six. <laughs> He's six. Oh, yeah. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm he can run in behind. I've seen. I've seen him score. A lot oh, okay, enough, game. enough, enough. This this conversation is disgusting. He's running in from behind. Nah, you know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> 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 yeah, this guy's definitely going to rust. Oh, right fuck now. it all. Bring a Mexican <laughs> to the bridge. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm all I'm all for that. We ever had a Mexican player? Bring a Mexi here. Who's the last hey, Mexican to play for Chelsea? Actually, one thing you no, know, I, I, don't think, he's I don't think, think we've had one, have we? One thing yeah, we we're, we're, we're about to sign. What's the name? The winger? What's his name? The winger, bro? The one we were about to sign? Well, uh, Alvarez. Yes. Yeah, that's an Alvarez. No, no, not Chucky. him, bro. Before that, we, we wanted to sign this guy. Yeah, you're talking about Irving Lozano. Lozano. Yes, oh, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, Irving, yes, Irving Lozano, yes. Chucky. Yes. Yes. That's why we need. That's why we need the Mexican player, bro. Because you know Mexicans don't stop when there's a wall, bro. He's gonna fucking that wall do nothing. He's gonna take that fucking wall so quick. Hey, bro, he's gonna jump above it, man. He's gonna. He's not gonna stop him, bro. Bro, if I'm if I'm gonna be real, I think Alvarez has been an upgrade over uh what's his face uh Rice. Rice. Oh shit! Mm. I think make that. I don't, I don't think and he's again, been an upgrade. I think West Ham are just a better all round team. Squad. Yeah. Oh wow! So now you don't want to give no credit? Get the fuck out of here! You're a Rice sexual. I don't think it's an upgrade. Man, shut up. They playing Are better you, without him. Shut up. So do you think that Edson Alvarez is better than Rice? He just said he's been better. I don't, I don't, think, think, he's I don't think, think he said he's a better player. He said he's, he's been better. Upgrade. He said he's an upgrade. He I said he's been. I mean, West Ham are not at the bottom. I think he, fits, not the bottom, I think he so. fits the way West Ham play more than yeah. Rice did. Yeah, I agree with that. But I, I wouldn't say I he is that, an bro. upgrade as a player. Like, does he does he play for England? Probably not. No, no. 
I think I think what it's allowed them to do is have Paqueta further up and doing a bit more. Yeah, exactly. He was so good for against Freiburg yesterday. West Ham were bro. I, I, I Loki, I'm sweating it on Sunday. We got them away. Did they win? Yeah, they won two to one versus uh, Freiburg. Ooh, I still don't to... think. I still don't think if we got it. him, it would have worked out how we we, we wanted. Of it course to. you don't, bro. We don't ever need your opinion on anything because it's always fucking negative. We know that. We know you think it wouldn't have worked. We know this. Big up, Cam, my guy. What's up, Cam? To be fair, though, it kind of depends on... He might not have worked at Chelsea, but I don't also don't think... Like, if we'd have got Alvarez, we may not have got other, got other players. I mean, like, let's face it. Anyone, anyone who we would have signed at the start of last season, we would have had a fucked really? season anyway, looking back on it. I mean, yeah, it we still had Kai Havertz, Mason Mount... These man stinking up the gaff, bro. I you were saying, oh, don't, he was don't a even... fucking defensive Zach, midfielder. Zach, what would he have to Zach, do with them? He's a defensive Zach, midfielder. Saying Mount is good, bro. You were saying Mount is good. Now all of a sudden, he, he's a problem, bro. What do you mean? Nathan. When did say I say? When did I say Mount was good? You said he's just having a bad season, bro. That's all you said. Macy Mount. Nah, you're uh, <laughs> you're gonna have to get that up. I've never listen. Mount Mount can be an okay player, sure, but he he wasn't playing good enough for the last two years. Well, all of us talking, nobody in this, nobody on here like Mount anymore. What, what, I like I, Mount. I like Mount for what he yeah, is. You know, that's think... the point he said. Now you see him trying to act like you didn't. Fuck out of here. You no, like Mount. No, there's a big difference in me liking Mount as a player and me saying that he underperformed for the last two years. Man, Man, you you were saying we should re-sign him. That's the point. No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. You can, you can get up streams. I don't know if you want to dig, go for all that effort. I never said we should re-sign him. I said if we get Somebody. 60, 50 million for him, I'll be I'll be very happy. So someone go dig it up. You so you was positive about losing Mason Mount, but you're negative about everything else, huh? Yeah, I'm I'm negative about everything, hundred percent. That's right. That's right. Be optimistic for tomorrow though. <coughs> Yeah, I think uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I don't know of this team, bro. I was I was optimistic going into so many games last season about at the start of the season, thinking, yeah, oh, this is the game where our season turns around. This is it. This is it. This is it. And then it just never happened. Right. So yeah. See. I feel like that's that's fair. That's that's fair. I don't know if that's being negative. I just think that's like reasonable. PTSD. Bro, this yes, team's giving me PTSD, fam. I remember, yeah. I remember us signing Enzo. All of these man Potter comes in January. Boom, I'm thinking, yeah, we got a proper midfield now. You know, we got Mudrick. Yeah, we got Madueke. And then it, that's it a lie. Worse. But they also they also didn't play. We let Jorginho go. Yeah, I don't know why Potter never played those two as much as he should have. I mean, because I know I I get it. I get it in a sense because like. <laughs> He did this. He did this. Has similar things to what Lampard did in terms of like, you were under pressure, and so you went to the more experienced players, which right. makes sense. That's what most yeah. players, what most managers do, when they're in a, a tricky situation, especially when it comes to lower down in the table. More often than not, they go to the experienced players. That's true. Right? Yeah. yeah. More often than not, but that's the issue: is you fucked yourself so much beforehand. I actually like now looking back at it, he made mistakes beforehand in terms of like not trying to implement your system more to like and and having the players in there who could help with the younger guys when they came in in January that yeah come January onwards like it kind of sucks because they didn't really get a lot of game time because he was just playing the experience ahead of him right but they were playing bad you know after some game he oh no 100 I didn't say they were playing well but like that's just that's what that's what managers do like we've seen it time and time again right managers more often than not tend to if things are going wrong they tend to deviate or always go back to the experience because they think that the experience can get them out of that right even if the experience is fucked even if the experience is flawed and it's they're the ones that put them in that situation, they'll still go back to the experience more often than not. Da, 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 da. That's true. Yeah. I just felt like it was like 10 games in a row with like Sterling being shit and he kept playing, you know. But I can see what your point is. Like, you know, mm. you trust Sterling. You really went for Sterling of all the players, not Havertz. You went for Sterling. He's an experienced player. Yeah. I mean, Havertz is experienced, too, but Sterling is more experienced than, you know. Man, Ster man, Havertz was way more of a fucking problem than oh, Sterling last year. 100%. No, no. I, yeah, you know, but you chose I mean, Sterling. I, I, I should. I yeah, think he said, said Aubameyang a long time ago. Yeah, 
Nah, Ob- Obama wasn't even given a chance, bro. Yeah, we, Obama we did Obama played, wrong. Obama should have played more. Obama, we did yeah. it wrong. I don't know what was happening behind scenes, but he should have got more of a chance, fam. No one. It was because he had a bonus he appearance the bonus. In his contract, and we got stingy. Then we. Wait, you think that's that, the, that's the case? That that's whole, the I don't know if that's true, though. I, I, I disagree. With you. If that is true, that, if that's yeah. genuinely that whole, the case, then we're like that is serious incompetence. Because yeah, that, bro, whole, that whole transfer was stupid. That whole transfer was just dumb. It made no like, sense. Shouldn't no have gone. Sense. But his ways. There's a short He's term, you know, two goal on the striker, but I, it's really weird. Obama was scoring for us. I don't know why he just benched him out, out of nowhere. It's, yeah, it's so weird. that was weird. It's so weird. He was scoring for us. And then no, sudden, no, that's what it was. It wasn't that. His deal includes the option for another season, which was based on the number of appearances he makes for Chelsea. Oh. So that's then that's that. a retarded. Uh, we I don't know why two they include year with that, option man. for a third. Why do they include that? Yeah, yeah. Man, that was so annoying watching Havertz stink up the pitch every fucking game, bro. Yeah, I mean it wasn't only Havertz. It was also Macy. Macy. Oh man. Macy didn't play. Macy did not play. Did not play. He didn't, he yeah, stopped he did. playing in February. He stopped playing. Not, no, during that during that time when Potter was stinking up the place, Mount was not playing. He wasn't. Exactly. Yep, he was yeah. playing until February where he got the injury. Then he stopped. Yeah, yeah but that's not when he started really stinking up the place. We were yeah. stinking up the place the whole time, bro. We have seven nah, weeks the whole season. Bro. Nah, not like, not like, not like, like how it got. It, it got much diff- worse. It was a different level of nope. stink. Yeah, hell yeah. It was just as bad. There's literally as the bad as we now. was. The worst at our worst point, Mount was not there. He wasn't there. Bo- Go look it up. Look it up. Can someone? I don't look have up to, bro. I remember season, bro. he wasn't there. No, no, he I wasn't remember. There. I remember too, bro. You, you don't, don't remember. remember. When, when Mount was, was still so playing, we were still semi decent, bro. That's not true. That's again. When Mount was still playing, like regularly, that's we were still no, semi decent. No, no, that's no, a lie. No, 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 He was averaging a goal every ten games. No, we started to drop off while he was still playing. But Lewis, can you please bring the results from last season? We started to drop off, but our at our worst point. Trust me, he wasn't he there. Was there. He was there. He was there. Oh, he was there. Was we had one game. One game. Do you hear what I said? Our worst, worst point. Worst. Worst. Our worst point. Yeah. He, he, it's impossible. He was there. He was yeah. injured. He was he there. Had a pubic bone injury. Yeah, yeah he, he was the, injured. He, he was. He was not even that. Out of the team before he even had the fucking injury, bro. That, that he. Bro, our worst. But did you injured. hear what I said? Our worst point. Nope. 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 He was. What did we finish, dickhead? He, he was literally what position was we in game. with Mason Mount? What was the lowest rank we was in when Mount was on the pitch? But nothing Tell changed me. when he got when he got injured uh, after we had what? the same. What position? Same... Your position changed. What do you mean nothing three. changed? What position you in matters. Yeah, but the, our form was exactly the same. Nothing changed when it, he was playing. Bro, he was averaging a goal every game. Your form can't be the same nothing if your changed. position is different, bro. That's not. It true. Doesn't make sense. That's... You can't you can, keep you can losing and st- yeah. you can't keep losing and being tenth and fifth oh, yeah. and seventh. He was and eighth. And he was he was playing shit before him before him and after. That, him, that's was, not what that. nobody said, Kai. Why you can't just say I'm fucking wrong? Because I I'm said that I was worst he point. Was, he was not there. Kai was the worst point. The exact same four, bro. The worst. Hang on. Would you argue that that's, that Southampton loss was the worst point of the season? I would argue whatever rank, whatever no. our lowest position was, that was our worst point. I'd say, I'd say the, the bit where we won on, where we won on that run of like, it was. We like had no run. We, you won game seven time. games the whole season. What well, form? What, what's wrong? Yeah, you're talking, yeah, talking about a run, yeah, a run of lost games. Like the, think about a run of losses, not win. One three games. That run of losses was after Lampard came in, by the way. Exactly. So Mount wasn't playing. That that. That wasn't what we yeah. fucking talked about. We talked about Potter. No, but there was one before. No, we we were just saying about whether no, we were talking about Potter. We, we fucking that, started uh, talking this about Potter. That's where this the genesis of the conversation came from. A man talking about Lampard. I mean, he was so bad that even Lampard didn't want to play him. Even <laughs> now, he was even when he Lampard. came back. Yeah, he Wasn't was he injured. injured? Nah, he was injured. I There's am. no I way Lampard is not playing his boy, man. But he he came back and he still didn't play him. Oh, that, he, that, he was only back for like four yeah. games. He played yeah, one. He of wasn't those. really back. He played one of them. So even after he came back from the gym, one, out, wasn't... one out of four. But then he was. I injured promise you, Lampard is playing his boy every single time that he's. Yeah. Fit. If he was fit, he would have played. I mean, that's not something it. to be proud of, bro. It's, it's just no, a shit. Not, he would have played because Lampard loves him. I'm not proud of it. I, I don't like. I mean, I think he rates 
Mount way too highly, but it's just true. Mm. Mm. But don't get me wrong. I'll take Mount any day over Havertz. Mount is a better player. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. They're, they're just as bad as each other. Nah, if you're saying Mount's a little bit less shit. If we switch the name, they're just a shit. Nah, 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 one is a nah, shitty nah, nah. midfielder. That's, that's like saying that's like saying Eric Dyer is better than Davinson. It's not even that. This is the this is the same level of conversation we were having. Very low ball. I'm not even that. This is the same level of conversation we were having the other day, where we have literally dumb and dumb bullshit. I say we're both both just like Mount, just a little bit better. Are we talking about the better, entertainment better at what? Debate? Better, oh, better at what? Are better at what? He's a midfielder who can't fucking cross the ball. He literally oh. have three fucking open play assists in his time at right. Chelsea. He, right, right, what is he better right. at? Right, right, right. You, 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 you always talk about stats. You always talk about stats. Better, way better stats than Havertz. Dave, Dave, stats. You watch it with your eyes. Kai, are we talking? If we're talking about both of their best version. At Chelsea, yeah. Mount is like miles clear. It's not but even Mount close. also played, yeah, on, he played more games as well, man. So it's, again, you're making I'm excuses not, for the nigga. Do you know what I'm, I'm, I'm saying? saying what he's saying, yeah, they they can both be trash players, but what he's saying is Mount is a better player than Kai Havertz, and he is. I, I, I don't yeah, think so, though. I don't think so. But he is, though. But he is. He's a better football player than Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz has no redeemable qualities. None. Yeah. You can't tell me Mason Mount don't have any redeemable qualities. I mean, that's that's not true that Havertz doesn't have any redeemable. No, qualities. he does not. Which one? What are they? What, what are they? Doing? What? If he what didn't, he wouldn't be making the professional football. They're both. Uh, shit, I'm gonna ask. I'm asking you. What's the redeemable yeah, qualities about him? That don't back your name. What are they? No, he has. Yeah, he has. Okay, the, at his heading. Is heading, yeah, heading. He has decent touch. But that's it. He's a touch. He doesn't have a good touch. He doesn't have a good touch. He doesn't have a good touch. Sometimes he can score goals. He's a long game. He's a big fucking average. You don't have a decent touch. A decent touch. He also doesn't have a decent touch. I don't understand why we're making this comparison. The bullshit. But, but Mason Mount is a, as guys. a midfielder, he can be an engine. He can be an engine. You can. You can there's, there's a position for a midfielder just to run that. around and break up and be a madman. Nothing Kai Havertz do. If there's a position for nothing. Havertz has a Jimmy Seville touch. Bro, and Mason Mount has like a way. <laughs> Arsenal fans said we played him in the wrong position. And after two months, they want him back up front because he's been that shit in midfield. <laughs> exactly. Give it two months, I, I think that's what I'm saying. Player. He has no redeemable qualities. Yeah, none okay. because his, his, his and, the ability in, in which he had the ball don't work up front, and the ability he had the ball in the midfield don't work because he doesn't win fucking duels in the air. Well, that's so what the, the same, fuck are we talking same. about? The only, thing is, the only thing he's good at is getting into goal scoring positions and nothing. That's else. it. And they're no, missing the motherfucker. Maybe a little bit it's the same, it's the, them. But it's the same insufficiency of why Mount couldn't play as a yeah, as a midfield. Either Mount, for us no, or for the Lakers. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. It is. It no, it's not. Is. It is. No, it's it not. <laughs> no, it's no, not. No technical, no technical ability and first touch are the reason why he can't play for a midfield for us, and now he can't do it for United either, man. Mount can at the he very least pass a bit better. You're, you, you're talking about what Mount can do offensively. Mount has Mount has defensive qualities. Kai Havertz don't have anything. Kai just fouls. He just fouls. Yeah. I, yeah, no, I think both let's, of them are shit. Let's not be silly. Mount was doing that a lot as well. But like again, like this whole conversation is like just a weird debate to me. We're debating two levels of shit. Yeah, yeah, like, they're, both shit. Yeah. they're both art. Yeah, well, they're they're both debate, and, but know, that, but his know. point, but his point, saying if he if he had to pick one of the evils, he'll rather have. I Mount. wouldn't pick either I, though. I wouldn't though. Exactly. I wouldn't. I think. Bro, but that's the point. I'm picking the hypothetical was if he had to pick one. That's why it's called the hyper hypothetical. Yeah, you can't pick neither. I'm not. I'm not picking either, bro. For me, they're both. This is like picking between. This is like me in 2018 when Callum Wilson gets injured. Who do we put up for? Andy Carroll or Dwight? Who the fuck uses Callum Wilson as a fucking example, bro? You have so many players in world football. When he got injured for us, because Callum Wilson's had regular injury problems, to be honest. I don't know. My opinion. And we had to put up either Dwight Gale or Andy Carroll. It's like they're two cheeks of the same ass. Bro. I hear you, I've been Steve, waiting three seasons to kick them both out, man. I'm not, I'm not going to pick one of them. Pick. Still one choice either, gonna pick. I'm not picking either because we need the ball. Yeah. <laughs> is there? I mean, you, Dwight Gale brings neither nothing. Neither is there an option. Andy Carroll brought nothing. Look, Kai, you're always talking about stats, right? 
Mount yep. had way better stats than Havertz too. Uh, at, in, in, in both their Chelsea careers, Mount's better than. Yeah, but, better. Not even but, close. You have you yeah, have to use the, you have to use the stats in context though. Goal. If you have if you have somebody who's a, supposed to be an eight or a midfielder, he doesn't have any good. He loses the ball most most of the time. His I actual haven't. open play assist are not. Havertz not loses the ball as well. Havertz loses the ball you, way more than Mount. Yeah, but Havertz is, a, is, a, is a, we use him as a striker though. Mount is supposed to be a midfielder. Even when, even when he though. was playing, so what the fuck does that mean? Bro, uh, honestly, honestly, this this is not worth the argument. Like Scott says, they're both shit players to me. I I can't pick one of them because for me, they're both of them shouldn't be professional. But you did ever, pick though. one of them because you're like, oh, Mount. I didn't. I didn't pick one of them. I just said they're both shit. I just. But you just said Havertz is a better player than Mount. Yeah. I think he's a better player. I, I said they're you. both shit. I was using the example that they both have flaws in their games. I didn't say one is better than the other. Nah, you said Havertz. you don't I listen. Swear you said Havertz is bad. Hey, Kai. I didn't. I feel I bad for your woman, bro. Because you literally said, just fucking said you would pick Kai Havertz over Mount. And then now you're, you're just, saying you didn't say that. Nope. You guys are not good at listening. Yo, your last three times on the show, something you just said, you said you didn't say. No, again, again, it's, it's this show keep fucking occurring. The same fucking thing. You guys don't listen. You you don't have bro, to pick bro, one of the other. All right? of us. It, so wait. You, so you telling us all of us not all of us heard you wrong? You said it right. Yes. Everybody else yes. heard you wrong. I said. I said. What I said is they're both bad. You said, "Oh, Mount is better than Havers." And then I, I argued, didn't say it. First Mount of all, Zach did. Boss. See, get your shit not together, you, Zach did. You. I'm saying. I said whatever. Whoever responded to me. So I said both of them are bad. Both of them have flaws that make them not good to play in their respective position that they wanted to play for, which is why they left Chelsea. And, Hold and, on, and, and then, and, and then no, no, me, Zach me, said, and then both of them, both of them in their respective clubs. And then Zach the said, the he's a better footballer than Kai Havertz, and you said, not, no, he's not. not. Mount is a horrible number eight, and Kai Havertz is a horrible number nine. And it's, that, that's what but I, that's I, not I, the point. That's not the but point. that was my point, though. That's because you don't. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. You interrupted him to this say, no, case. he was wrong. No, no. You guys just got good at listening, and that's my fault. No, no, no bro. Hard, you, hard you, hard you, you, you find it listening. I literally I didn't it. pick any of them. I just said they're game both game. as bad. You guys, then you argue. Bro, Mount when he better, said I, Mount, I like when he said Mount was a better player, happened. you said no, he's not. I, th yes, no. because I don't think he is. I think they just both just the shit. I didn't say one of them is better than the other. I I asked who's, who you, you who do you pick though if you had a ticket. I pick. I just I literally answered that again. I said neither because for me they're both okay. of them are very sufficient. Okay, Kai. 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 Do you know what a hypothetical is when somebody <laughs> said you have to choose one? But I, but I said I never, said both nobody's never, never said that either. to you. You've never, never you've never gave somebody a hypothetical <laughs> when you gave them the option of one thing or another. Why the fuck but would I, you say none when you have to pick I one? But I didn't answer that question. I said they're both as bad as each other for me. But you have okay. We're telling you you have to pick one, Kai. Which I one are you taking to. on your team? They're both as shit though. So I can you could pick. That's not what we're want. asking you, Kai. You Kai, you, 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 Kai, you you're gonna you 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 really gonna fight that hard to not say Havertz? Say Havertz. No, it's I don't okay. Havertz, but I don't think Havertz is the worst player, though. I think they're both is just as bad. Bro, that's all I'm saying. That's not what we're talking. We're not talking about. No, no, no. And you, you know, you know, oh you know my gosh, I, this you fucking know guy is amazing. I am literally oh, we wanted Mount out for three seasons when everybody else here was bigging him up. With all that so being said, good, that's not true. There's a lot of high, high, with with all that being said, question. who would you rather Mount have on your team? You had to pick one. I don't say neither. Neither. Because neither. I think they just bought a shit. Okay. You can pick either. You can pick either. For me, they're just a shit. That's why I'm saying. That's what I've been repeatedly saying. They both. Who are you, Grave Stupid? You can put both of their names and just pick a pick whatever. I'll be happy. If with you it. have a gun shit. to your head and you have to pick one, or you're gonna get blown up, I picking? say just fucking shoot me in the head. I'll pick either of them. I don't care. There's just a uh, shit. Why are you weaseling out of an answer? Why are you weaseling out of an answer? I am not. I'm saying they're just a shit. You know what? You want to say? I refuse. You want to say? You know why I refuse? Because for the last few years, I've been fighting to pick them out, bro. Nope, you know, nope. You I am not picking between Dam and Damar, bro. I am not picking any of them. They're bullshit. They're bullshit. I'm not picking between them. <laughs> Literally, man. Look, look at these fucking better. faces, bro. <laughs> I'm not picking any of them. If you want to pick Kyle, you can pick I despair. Kyle. That photo of Mount always makes me laugh. I, <laughs> I despair. No, oh, man. Fucking dogs. Okay. As a year so, ago today, you know, Chelsea you fans know, you meant to carry our club because you said it. <laughs> yeah, he wants. I don't. I don't rate either, though. No, I haven't. I don't rate either. For I me, do, no one rates any of them. I no one on this panel. <laughs> no, no, no. But a lot of people. Nobody does. Like but Mount is better. 
Mount is and they have a place for Mount, but Mount, Mount, Mount is shit too. For me, it's the same level, bro. For me, it's the yes, same level. Mount is better. But yes. that's why I said we you are, pick are either one. It's just they are both bad, shit. bro. But I'm asking you, you can have you three people think? being shit and one being better than other. I don't think so. I think they're both a shit, the exact same level of shitness in their cool. respective okay, position. Okay. That's why I can't nah, pick it. Nah, that's so you've watched because Havertz, Havertz is an attacker. He's originally an attacker and he's bad at it, just as bad as Mount is as a midfielder. And you think. That they are the same level. Yeah, but hold on, Kai. Yes. Hold on, Kai. Yes. You could argue the exact same opposite. You could say that that Havertz was playing as a striker, and yet Mount is a much better goal scorer than him. So, like that. Did he score more goals than him in uh, yeah. uh, minutes per goal? I no, mean, minutes maybe, per goal. He didn't score. Maybe not. Goals maybe not last season. But... Yeah, goal. because it's important how many how many chances you had to. Look, score Mount goals. was playing as a winger goal. and a midfielder. Like you can't really. Chances you had. That's you because look he... at Kai Havertz. Yeah. And you know what? You know why he was playing a midfielder, a midfielder, and a wing, and a winger, uh, an attacker, and a, and a and a a number ten and a, as a winger because he wasn't good as a midfielder. Because he wanted to be a midfielder, he wasn't good enough. That's a That is not retarded. And you know that why is. it's not retarded? Because all, all the all the all the all the fucking year does were telling me how good Mount as an eight, and no manager played him as an eight other than fucking Lampard, bro. Ten Hag is playing him as an eight. Ten Hag and and, and, and and what happened to we? What happened to Ten Hag, man? Since Mount came in and played as an eight. Yeah, I mean that's a different conversation. Oh, uh, that, that's not a different uh, conversation. He's not not a good eight. He you isn't just a good said, eight. Bro. He's, he's just not a good eight. Kai's right on that. Kai's right on that. Yeah, Kai's he's right. Playing him as an eight, and he looked like shit. So yeah, he yeah. Like he's not an eight. He's but like but shit, Jimmy, bro. these guys were crying how good is an eight, and and the club is putting him back. Yeah, in, like, I agree the next, with you. The next time, I, you know, one, that's what I said. I, I, I don't know how all of us something. Nobody in here wanted Matt Mason Mount. I ain't with that. Some of y'all motherfuckers wanted Mason Mount. Don't try to switch it up now, y'all. But some of you motherfuckers wanted Mason Mount. Yeah. I've never read. Yeah, I've been on. I've been on this post. Hey, no, I just think he's better play than Havertz. I never wanted him to cut me off. <laughs> oh my god, that's wild, man! Jesus, bro. Not so green screen. <laughs> Big... Oh, there's a donation. Okay, Kai's got booed. Big up to Chloe. Um, Kai. It is, it's been real in everything, though. We're gonna have to play that world. They're both a shit, Take care, man. Brother. Take care, bro. Hope you have a good Who night, man. Kai Bless oh, oh, Chloe. A, Chloe. Chloe kicked off Kai. Chloe's ruthless, bro. Ruthless. Big up to Dr. Muhammad as well, saying who's worse, T-Rex, Kepper, or Banana, Peel, or Nana. I did see people yeah. in the comment section say that might be a bit sus, but I, I don't think he meant anything by it. Um, hey, Kepper. Always Kepper. What does Banana Peel mean, though? Like, what in what? Oh, is not Muhammad is African himself. I don't think he would make a lot of Yeah, man. Probably talking about out. slipping or something. Oh, okay, nah. No, I just needed to know what the joke was. I just, I, yeah. I didn't Why? see. Because I didn't see how, like, banana, I didn't get how Banana Peel was. Steve? Why? Fair enough. Hey, yo, stop bullying Fatur. What is that? Is that not bullying? Kicking the motherfucker off the panel for no reason. I didn't even know he was still here. <laughs> this guy always spends That's 20 years. He he's he's not, not even still. He's not still here. Unless you mean in the comments. He's not on the, the stream. He's just in no, the no, comments. No, no, he's here. He's here. This oh, Joy. Oh. Got I should have guessed. He just hasn't said anything. I thought he was being a bit sick. But <clears throat> All right, fair enough. Right. Big up for the donation, Fatter. Big up, my guy. And Tyler B says this is hilarious. Yeah, we, yeah, we that was fucking really sorry for him. Oh, Fatou. But then he fucking does that. That's that's passive aggressive. That's why I told you I hate <laughs> passive aggressive men. I fucking want. I just want to take my fucking knife and push it in your ribs. I hate passive aggressive men. Be a fucking man, yo. Stand ten toes down and say what you feel. You a man? Hey, Fatou, don't lie. You got bullied in primary school. Like, just don't lie to us. That's passive aggressive as fuck. Bye, Steve. You ain't even start an argument with Steve. You can kick me off, you bitch. Pay a 20 for me. Give my nigga Lewis a dub for the day. You fat, sour sack of shit. You know what I'm starting to write? You like the abuse. That's probably why you turn your camera off. You go and fucking beat off to it. And then you come back smiling and you sing it again. Kicking off fucking Steve. Kick me off. You never kick me and Alex off. All we do is fucking bully you, you fat sack of no, shit. He, he kicked Alex off the other day. Yeah. Why did you kick me off? For well, getting onto Klazref of all people. Oh, someone get Klazref home, man. Steve, no, don't even be fucking no, fuck nobody. Him. I'm, not, I'm not having a...
I'm not the fucking audio talker. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, class, this guy Claim was saying what the Newcastle versus PSG to, like, PSG to talk about Team Moverna being good. Oh, bro. Oh, damn. This this guy was so beautiful. This guy was speaking on two times speed. Oh, Team Moverna was a good thing. Chelsea fans didn't. Y'all see that? Just for a few years, should play as a ten. Y'all don't. Y'all don't see his hitting fucking aggression. He kicked Steve off, who's never done nothing to him. Y'all don't ask yourself, why does he do that? That's weird. No. Me calling Factor a fat sack of shit is actually just an observation. Oh, y'all didn't know I intelligently did somebody so that I could just call names? Yeah, I got a brain too. I choose not to use it. Fuck you. I got other things to use my brain for. Not for fucking YouTube. YouTube yeah, I by coming wild out. <laughs> I don't know why I kicked Steve off. Steve didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah why are you saying yeah. fuck me for? What did I <laughs> Yeah, it's like fucking Steve is 50%. Yeah, why is it fuck me for? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I just said, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that might be the that might be the maddest line I've ever heard. All the years I've had streaming, that's insane. It's just an observation, yo. Know? <laughs> <laughs> I just think if he wasn't even trying to make a joke, he'd be serious. He's like, I just came yo, to realize that. Yo, because it is like this. That's real bullying. Oh, I'm bored. I'm just gonna kick Steve off. What the fuck, Steve? Do <laughs> Steve ain't do shit. You can't. Steve was just vibing. Yeah, kicking Steve off is wild. Like, like yo, I if get... he randomly jumped on and just kicked me off, I wouldn't even go why. I know why. It's like okay, I get it. But Steve, like, he just kicked Steve off, bro. And he does, and it's not like one or two times. I don't even think we can count how many times. It's like four times. You can't it? count how many fucking three point fives Factor has bought Lewis in the name of Steve, kicking him off. You know what I mean three point five? Guys, on, at man. least go and stop Steve's channel. Five, he is going to be live later. Yeah, right. do you know how waved you can get with that? Huh? Well, yeah, it's, it's nearly time to reload. Match those tomorrow. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Big up to... I, I can't pronounce your name, my brother, but thank you for the donation, saying people ask to pick one, be pick neither, then sharp and don't answer if you don't want to participate. It was just going round in circles. <laughs> yeah, so we yeah, were just yeah, trying yeah, to yeah, pick yeah, an yeah, answer. Exactly. I, asked, I asked Kai, like... This guy spun the bullet. Like, I don't know Kai has an answer. You just don't <laughs> want to pick. <laughs> yeah, he wants I to pick Kai. 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 He just don't want to say guy oh, ever. Oh yeah, one well, fatter was Naruto. That's it. Fatter asked me to kick Jimmy. Oh wow. <laughs> Why? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is this true? If so, why? Fatter, you are in the stream. You are here. <laughs> Yo, he sent her forty to. He said, "I'll send you sixty if you if you if you." If you spend 20 of it kicking Jimmy off. You stay tricked oh. you fucking trick. Yeah, tomorrow uh stream, I'll be on. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be on. Also, we're gonna we're we're gonna block kickouts until full time because I want to actually watch the match with people without turning to a big kickout. So there will be no kickouts until full time. For sure. So we're gonna set that now. So you oh, guys will know. Then if you guys drop a 20 for that, I'll appreciate it, but ain't going to be active. As soon as it gets to 90 minutes, four yeah, just five people are getting kicked out, fam. Hey, hey, potentially. But like before that, I want to actually watch the game with people. So. Yeah, yeah exactly. Is the game on Peacock tomorrow? Yeah, it's on Peacock. Yeah, it's on Peacock. Yeah, on Peacock. Yeah, it's free Peacock. Oh, good. Wait, remember to send me a link, Lewis. So oh, come on. That's how he's got proof. Oh, my gosh. Join the like. Okay, I was gonna wrap up, but yeah, cool. I'll wait. I'll wait. I've got time. I've got to be live with Staffy in ten minutes. But guys, we are gonna redirect over there too. I said I'm not going Burnley. Fuck Burnley, I'm man. I'm not. Well, I, I literally just met my mate before I went live, and I gave him my ticket. I'm not. Going. It ain't easy. Like it's twenty five degrees in London. The weather's nice. Why am I spending that in Burnley? Exactly. 
Hey, uh, I gotta go. I'll see you guys tomorrow the, for the stream. Big up, guys. Uh, big yeah, up, man. bro. Big up. We'll be live from about I think twelve, probably around twelve. We'll do Luton, yeah, Tottenham, and then the uh, Chelsea think, game. Uh, for sure, sounds good. See you guys soon. Take care. Take care, brother. Take yeah, care. Man. I'll give Chloe a minute or two. If not, we'll probably wrap up. But yeah, Fatter, you you are you are in the stream, bruv. What are you doing? I was gonna say, yeah, I think he's scared of Jimmy, you know. Jimmy's not here anymore, bro. <clears throat> Guys not here, Alex isn't here, it's just us. It's just us. It's a lot more peaceful now. Maybe he's sick. Yeah. I have there it. she is. So what what is that? What is that? <laughs> I mean, I love you forever. Forgot. Oh my god. Oh my. God. Hey, Lewis. By the way, you know this is going in the sarcasm city chat, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Bro, I'm really I'm message <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna. Shame. 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 I'm disappointed, man. Actually, no, no, no. I'm not disappointed. I'm low-key appreciative of the donation, so thank you for that. But still, come on, man. Come on, man. You gotta be doing better than that. You gotta be doing better than that. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, bruv. That is crazy. <sighs> that's unbelievable, man. Never, never a boring stream. I swear hey. down. I can. Will you be? We'll all be there house. when that day arrives. Hey, we'll Cam, I need your help, by the way. In the sarcasm city chat, I, I, Peter's gonna have a field day. Oh dear. No, Peter can't <laughs> find the stream. Peter can't find the stream. <laughs> nah, he needs a break, bro. <laughs> he needs a break. Oh. <laughs> uh. No, he had a break yesterday, to be fair. I said, Just at least I'm not as bad as... What is... Why, why are you dragging the me into this? Oh, fucking hell. That's a man. I actually don't have words. I don't have words. Just, yeah. Big up, bruv. Big up, bruv. Right, we're, we're going to wrap up. I'm going to need a doobie before the next stream after this, because... What the fuck? We're going to be live tomorrow for Luton Spurs and for Burnley Chelsea. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. Bless everybody. Big up to Chloe. Everybody check out her channel. Get her to 200 subs. I know you guys are capable of doing that, so everybody head over to her channel, Carefree Chloe. And don't go anywhere because the stream is redirecting you to Staffy's Live. And we're going to be going live on his channel in about five minutes. So just be patient or just hit the notification button and go do your thing and it'll let you know whenever we go live. Alarm me. I'm going to go to sleep after this because I have to go wake up in the morning as well. Uh, don't go anywhere. We're the answer for your crimes. Well, Shame. bro. What do you mean? Shame. Crime? <laughs> what was the point? I've already got more crimes anyway. Uh, oh, so you're you're just adding to your rap sheet? Okay, you know yeah, what? This guy's got you a recall what? case against him anyway, so yeah, doesn't really matter. It's like you know what? I've already got like 15 murder charges on me. What's a little bit of robbery as well? well whatever. At least I'm not as bad as Daniel, though. Yeah. I, I, exactly. See, what kind of relegation battle is this, bro? Big up to Daniel <laughs> as well. Oh, right. Daniel, 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 at least, at least, look, I'm trying to play a slow possession ball. I'm like Brian, he's trying to play a hoof ball, obviously. Yeah, Danish Maldini, we're just going to wrap up the stream. Big yeah, up to everybody who's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. We'll be live at Staffy's channel in five minutes. Check out.